Thanks for following, and welcome to the story.
button and unmute. Welcome, everyone. Hey, everybody. Welcome so. to the thousand follower stream. Woo! Yay! <laughs> and as promised, well, we've got guests. Yes. So we have the lovely Bailey with us today. Um, you guys knew she was coming, but we are so excited to have her here with us today. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. As you can probably see on stream, we've got some cool things planned for you guys, including this lovely yeah. tier list of uh, Matthias's haircuts that we're going to open up with. But there is the uh, there is this uh, matter of this question mark in the bottom right hand <laughs> corner. So uh, let me go ahead and we will show you who that is. Everyone give a warm welcome to Chanel. Yeah. Woo. Hi guys. <laughs> it is a guest double feature. Yes. Hi How are everyone. You doing? I'm good. Happy to be here. This is so exciting to have you both with us. Yeah. I am so excited for all of the things <laughs> that we have planned today. <laughs> we do have some some pretty cool things planned. Um yeah, so we should uh, jump right into it. I feel like all I'm doing is talking like way too much. <laughs> well, I know you wanted to uh, do a pseudo interview portion for Chanel. And yeah. Dave. So why don't you kick it off with that? So I figured just to like loosen everybody up and everything, we would um, just ask you guys a couple questions about Project 863. Um, let's start with, um, and either one of you can go first. Um, which one of the Project 863 videos is your absolute favorite video? Hmm. <clears throat> I feel okay, like for I'll Chanel, that's... because. Oh, sorry. What were you going to say? I was going to say, I feel like for Chanel, that's like picking a favorite child. It oh, really yeah, is. For sure. <laughs> for sure. You could go first, Bills. <laughs> okay, I actually, I answered this question yesterday, so I have one on deck. Um, I recently have a new favorite. My new Ooh. favorite is the uh the tr going into the phantoms trailer that video oh. that recently came out i just felt like the tension was like so high in that video and when I are we like do we spoil things on this <laughs> on this um, channel <laughs> you can lightly you can on this stream lightly yeah okay okay um <laughs> i guess just like you know just when he was approaching the trailer I, it was just so oh yeah, scary. we've already watched that video on here. I thought sorry. Okay, behind cool. the scenes things. No, sorry. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, I just meant like for those who haven't seen the oh. episode. So, uh, yeah, I just feel like it was, there was just so much tension and I was like genuinely scared for right. them, <laughs> even though I knew what was going to happen. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I really liked that episode a lot. Yeah, it was, it was definitely one of the, uh, one of the highlights of the season for me as well. Yeah. This All right, lab. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna cheat a little oh. bit, um, <laughs> just because I think the last two that came out because they were written as one before we split them up. I'll count them just because the way that we wrote it and the way that it flowed, I was actually very happy with when I saw the final edit, um. And just story-wise, I think that one was very strong. Both of those together, playing off of each other, were really strong. Like the Friday-Saturday ones? Yeah. Yeah, they were intense. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've rewatched them I don't know how many times, and it's still, like, my heart leaps into my chest every time, and I get so nervous. And when Matt's, like, <laughs> on the side of that bridge, I was, oh, yeah. I was like... Oh, yeah, I was yeah. no good. I was like, you better <laughs> hold on so tight. <laughs> oh, I know, especially considering how old that bridge is. God. Yeah. I thought you were going to say how old Matt is. It's like, he's not that old, Chanel. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> I mean, he's only two years older than me, and I'm 20, 29 plus one, so. <laughs> See, I didn't even know how old Matt was until this moment, so. <laughs> really? I've never cared to look, yeah. I assumed he was like 30, though. Um, all right, here, we'll go with the second one. Um, where is your favorite spot that, um, a vial has been found? So either the antidote, the counter agent, 
the clear one or the red one? I would say um, I really like I don't know if this was the first location. No, no, that's all getting jumbled in my head. But <laughs> I really like the one that was in the, uh, like under the D plus W concrete slab. Oh, the big yeah. heart concrete yes. thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I that one was done really, really well. Um, like just the way that it was hidden, and I don't know, it just like it's so eerie, and I, and I love like the the background that it kind of sets up because it just makes you wonder like yeah why is it under that slab like what does that slab mean exactly i was like ooh, there's a heart and what does this mean the romantic and me kind of got excited (laughs) yeah right i know i'm girl i am the same way i know i'm like good we're we're getting into the nitty gritty (laughs) um i'd say the rv for me that was yeah. a good one too. If I that agree doesn't with that sound, show. that's a really good one as well. If that doesn't sound wholly cliche, just because <laughs> of the tension that was in there. I mean, to be fair, like that was probably one of the strongest episodes, in my opinion, in the last couple. Um, yeah. Just, just oh. the season in general has been really like really tugging on like that whole drama side of things. Like, oh my god, I love this because I hate drama in my real life, but I love it on <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> exactly that's it just supplements that yeah you're like yeah. i'm so glad that it's not happening to me i right. love living vicariously through it <laughs> i still maintain that this is like like either the best escape room that ever exists or like the best uh dungeons and dragons session ever <laughs> yes absolutely i agree it can be both yeah true like i've literally borrowed concepts from this in D D campaigns <gasps> That's awesome. That would be so cool. I uh, would love to do a D&D campaign based on this. Right? Hello to everybody in chat. We're not um ignoring you. It's just we're just having some fun chatting away. So Yeah. Hello, thank you to everybody who's here. Um Oh, thank you, Brandon. Thank you so much. Appreciate Brandon. that. Brandon. Yeah. Also, now that I think about it, our uh, new emote should be alive as well. Ooh. Better in chat. Ooh. Oh, I, I haven't see. seen no. that. No, nope, we got us a little mountaineer. And then oh, we have. I haven't seen that one yet. Serum vial. And then we've got the. Hi. So hey, cute. Oh, host I love it. Cream. Oh. I've host been cream. seeing that high. The yeah. Around. <laughs> yeah, so that is actually courtesy of Emiko. Uh, yeah. Ooh, go Emiko. Emiko yeah. helped us. Um, He designed. The vial and the high. We actually have one. We were debating on putting it in. It's um also a blue vial as well. So oh, they look so cool. Emiko is amazing. So Subject shout out to Emiko. <laughs> Classic Emmy Kuduru. <laughs> Emmy Kuduru. Um, All right. Are we ready? I have only have two more questions left. Um. What is the most shocking thing that has happened during this whole, um, like the whole series, like zero to three to two? Hmm. Season two. Yeah, yeah. The most shocking thing. See, this is so hard because, you know, like, I, I, I keep getting mixed up in my head as to like things that have actually happened already. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm already thinking of a few things that I'm just like, no, can't say yet. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. coming up. Yeah. 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 Ooh. <laughs> we don't want to make you guys give the hot scoop here. So. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a hard question. No, because you guys will enjoy it seeing it in a video instead of right. just hearing us yeah. talk about it. <laughs> Um, um, I think, thanks for following. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Dels. Go ahead. Welcome to oh, the okay. Uh, I think finding out that the person who wasn't, um, you know, like antagonizing the team the whole time, I th- finding out that it wasn't Cyphus, I think, yeah. is like mm-hmm. yeah, big shock because I think that opens a lot of questions as to like who is it? Are who? Are people? Yeah. People. Um. Because we thought that we were dealing with a contained, you know, right. enemy, and now it's like we it's have no whole... idea how many people are involved in it now. So. Exactly, yeah. yeah. 
Right, it's like finding it's an alliance of evil instead of just Skeletor or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, um, thank you guys so much for the bits you're che you're cheering. And and, and there's an interesting parallel in that because we went on quite a long time just assuming that was Nelson that they yeah. were texting. Just like now, I feel like people are really, really jumping on the bandwagon that the um, Phantom is Wes, and I don't know that I quite believe that. It it seems mm -hmm. like we're being led down a rabbit hole again and made to believe that. Um, Interesting. That, though I do feel like the uh, the per the person on the uh, the Syntec tape, I feel mm -hmm. like that's the same voice that the Phantom had because they have similar accents. Yeah, it's very oh, similar. Mm, okay, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> so that's yeah, that that VHS tape is. Uh, I I love the way that that looked on camera. Like it, it was so cool. <laughs> it yeah, really cool. I, I I'm kind of curious to see the behind the scenes for that when it happens. It will I happen think soon. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I think I think that's coming out pretty soon. I think. Oh, Artemis. <laughs> oh god looks like artemis and uh mountaineer mysteries are going to get into a bit war again oh, no. <laughs> the best kind of war Let's the best it. kind <laughs> um let me see i think because like when i watch the when i watch the cuts there's moments that typically kind of really shock me just based on like i know it happened Mm -hmm. But the way that it's edited, they yeah. really add to it. So I think probably that moment for me was when uh, the Phantom literally destroyed the Apple II. And just that, that, that's what I was going to say, too. That video yeah. of it is just solely haunting and creepy. And uh huh. Yeah. When he like turns up and looks and it's like, oh, yeah, it exactly. I think that's I think that's mine for now. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. A good, one. No. good choice. Another one for me was when Matt pulled out that huge vial, like, out of the ammo box. Oh, yeah. That oh, was yeah. crazy to me. The that serum was... bomb. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think, like, so when we watched that live on stream, I'm pretty sure we both kind of, like, popped for that. Yeah. Oh, was, yeah, for sure. It was, I was like, wow. Yeah, it was a, a big daddy. Big daddy yeah. serum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, I only have one more left, and it's what would you like to see happen in the story, in the future of the story, like, as things progress? Yeah, what would you like to see happen? I feel like that's a hard question, given that they <laughs> have influence on that. <laughs> True. Yeah, <exactly>. but... <laughs> <laughs> like, if you were watching in and you weren't a part of it. Yeah, right. I don't, I don't know if that helps It's any. It's really hard to I... detach. I'd say, like, and I can say this because this is something that, like, me and Matt are working on because mm -hmm. I brought it up, um, but just more characterization of these mm -hmm. characters that we have not seen, like, we've mm -hmm. just heard of or we've yeah. heard, like, on a tape or we've seen their faces as, like, they're chasing everyone, um, but just kind of getting more of a character base behind these people, behind these names. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Um I think, yeah, like, I'm, I definitely am on board with, like, you know, just getting more information about these characters, more backstories. I think, mm -hmm. you know, especially with even Matt, Sam, and Woods, we know who they are outside of 863, but I really want to get a better idea of who they are in, in, in this the universe. story. Yeah. Um, because, you know, I think as of the past couple episodes, we've really started to see their characters start to develop a little bit more. Definitely. Um, you know, and like, it, like to see like the backstory or like, you know, why they operate the way that they do um, mm -hmm. and seeing how those characters grow and, you know, like their arcs and everything. I'm really excited to see how they develop in the future. Mm hmm. Um, so Chanel in Mountain or in the chat, Mountaineer Mysteries asks, "I have a question for Chanel on Notion, where all the evidence is listed. Will there ever be pictures of the serum and the antidote?" Yes, um, I'm pretty sure I added a picture of the serum, at least the one with the updated uh, what's the word label um, to. 
I don't remember which subsection of the serum page that is, um, but that should be on there in terms of the antidote. Yeah, I'll be adding that too. Just uh, a little bit busy. The antidote page kind of slipped my mind for some reason. It's kind of important, so I don't know why it did. Because you're busy. Uh, but yeah, you're yeah busy. I'll be adding that in for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bailey! Hey, hype train incoming. Oh. Hype train! Bailey started a ooh, hype train. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, ooh, we're so ooh, nice. Sweet. <laughs> um, it was funny because like we were watching back some of the old videos and it just showed a picture of the tape, like not the uh, VHS tape, but the cassette tape. And I looked on my desk and realized that I had the exact same tape, literally sitting there. And then realized <laughs> that I have like ten blanks of it. So oh I think at gosh. some point, I think at some point I'm going to recreate the prop. <laughs> Oh, that'd be so oh, sick. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, I love that. That's super cool. What's your favorite scenes from Project 863? Um, you guys kind of talked about that in the beginning. Um, that you liked the RV, the RV video. Yeah, I think that, honestly, yeah, just like that part of them in the RV is probably one of my favorite scenes. Yeah, um, definitely. Oh, you, guys are, you guys are the best with all your bit donations. Oh my goodness, subs. you guys. Oh, so sweet. Um, Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no, you guys are fine. <laughs> you guys are running the show. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is so weird. <laughs> um, I scene. Um, I, I guess my favorite scene scene is probably when they all have that big blow up. Yeah. Um, oh, because I think I think it's kind of toyed with for a little while yeah. and it builds and it builds and it builds and then like I, I remember I was watching I think I told Bailey or maybe I told Woods I don't remember but like I was watching the premiere on YouTube and like the comments on the chat were just very normal just like kind of spamming but then as soon as they all started arguing it just went away and everyone was just like no no wait wait why are they fine what's going on like it just completely yeah. changed and i think that that kind of shows i guess like the power of that kind of emotional scene yeah right um so i'd say that's my favorite so far yeah it i also... love that scene too i sorry uh no. just <laughs> chanel and i when we were watching that scene we just like we love the part at the end where where Matt's <laughs> like we're going our separate ways and then Woods is like that's fine because I can't stand you yeah. <laughs> that's like our favorite line <laughs> uh, I love that part I was actually going to bring that up <laughs> everything, everything that Woods says in that moment in, in that whole right. like fight scene just cracks me up <laughs> it's funny because it seems so like out of character for him in real life like out that's of story. Why it's so funny. Yeah. That's why it's funny. Yeah, that's why it's funny, because Woods is just like, he'll come in and I'll be like, hey, bud, what's going on? He's like, everything's good. He's just so <laughs> chill and down to earth. Right. And then, like, you see him and he's just like, oh, what? what's wrong with you guys? Why are you guys being so mean? So like, funny. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Artemis, thank same, you very much for the one. gift sub. Aw, go Artemis. We love Artemis. Um, yes. <laughs> I was just going to say, like, we... <laughs> Yeah, it's like watching Woods get angry like that. It's just like very strange. It's so, so funny to see him like yelling. <laughs> so you kind of yeah, you kind of brought up a point that like Woods quotes are kind of funny. I think it's the scene where they're going to the RV and Matt says, "Should we bring anything?" And it's just the way that Woods says bats makes me laugh every time. <laughs> it's just like yes. it's like bats. <laughs> bats. <laughs> He's, bets. he's always thinking of it though he's like should we bring a weapon and it's like of course you should bring a weapon what if something happens yeah That's Woods, awesome. is, <laughs> Woods is ready guy. to yeah he's ready to throw down at any yeah. point yeah right I mean I don't blame him you get clocked on the head pretty hard right yeah he yeah did. true I thought it, like in the most recent episode where he like brought out the slingshot and just like <laughs> set it down I was like classic right, right? classic Woods <laughs> Whatever happened to that saw bat that they had in Dope or Nope? That would be a good have right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know, That's actually, so we good. got rid of that recently. We did. <laughs> but that was, yeah, that was, because that was in Chanel's office for a really long time. Um, and I was, 
playing with it because I like you know I don't, wasn't part of the company like when right. they did that video yeah and we had like a cardboard box in there and I swung it and it like just cut straight through the oh, cardboard box yeah. and I was like whoa this is actually a legit weapon, weapon. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah oh yeah before we did that video I had to like really say like okay guys I'm be serious. Careful. <laughs> be careful. And one of them still ended up cutting themselves. And I'm just uh, like, okay, this is what happens when you don't listen right. you <laughs> to me. To the mom. So like, oh, I was I was the doper note mom all the time. They'll tell you that. So why do I feel like the one that cut themselves was Tanner? Oh, it absolutely was. Of course it was. <laughs> oh, man. Love it. Um, That's amazing. So. So that kind of brings up an, an, an interesting point, and I kind of wanted to talk about things slightly outside of your uh, place of employment. Yeah. <laughs> so, Chanel, I know you do a lot of writing. Um, what was? What are some of your writing influences? <laughs> writing influences. Oh, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> um, kind of, it really started, I went to like a convention back in 2014 and I met a bunch of writers for, it was actually a Transformers show, I think. Okay. And kind of the way that they were talking and what they told us just in that little moment of time really made me want to pursue writing as a career. Okay. And so I changed my major my major was english and i changed it to creative writing um and so i worked pretty much all that did was it just moved me more into like dialogue scripts and um contemporary literature classes and poetry and all that stuff and that's where i was just like yeah, yeah this is better this is this is a lot better <laughs> and so then at that point I was just kind of looking for work as a writer and obviously in LA as well as anywhere else. It's hard. Um, but, uh, you know, Matt took a chance on me and I'm happy that he did. And we're happy he did. Yep. Yes, we but are. I, I'd say like <laughs> influences, I'd say is just any piece of media that I can like get my hands on. So whether it's like a book or right. a show or even like music, all of it works for me. <laughs> sure. Um, and yeah, it, to to the credit, I think it's worked out for Matt as well, taking that chance on you, because, uh, I mean, Aww. we've created this whole thing around the thing that you and Matt have created, and, and many other people as well, you guys have all created, so you've spawned content off of your content, so I think that's usually the mark of, uh, <laughs> mark of, of making it to a degree, um, <laughs> We we kind of said we were we were kind of in the right place at the right time for that because we were kind of the first to start doing the watch party thing. Yeah. So yeah. I'm kind I'm kind of like I'm waiting for other people to show up doing it because that like that's that's true flattery to know that we're doing something that other people want to emulate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's makes me so happy seeing all the stuff that everyone does. Like whether it is here on Twitch or on Spellbound or Reddit or everywhere else. It's it's really cool Thanks to see. Or uh, yeah. the podcast <laughs> Wink Wink Artemis. <Yes. laughs> wink, wink. Oh, Artemis does such a bomb job with that podcast. Yes. We love Artemis. Uh, <laughs> Mountaineer Artemis best friends forever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, oh goodness! Here's a start. toast. Here comes the toaster eggs. Oh no! Uh -oh. <laughs> what is named toaster eggs? Yeah, they literally yeah. went and made a channel for it. Oh yeah. my gosh! Oh my gosh. Uh, so Bailey, it is kind of widely known that you weren't uh, super in. Well, you weren't really aware of the High Five Studios now Spellbound content before accepting work there. Mm -hmm. Um. What was kind of your, your initial opinions once you kind of started working there? And, and how long after working there did it take you to start um, kind of watching the content? Yeah, so when I first started, I like to be completely honest, um, I didn't even know like what channel I was working for until the day before. So I was originally hired as a Dope Note production assistant. Right. Um, and... That's how I met Chanel on our first day. And I was, like, really confused on my first day because, you know, like, when they were giving me a tour of the studio um, and the Mountaineer was parked in the garage, they were like, oh, oh this is part of, like, 
you know, like a series that Matt is doing. Um, it's like been going on for a really long time now. And it's uh, kind of like, I, I don't know. I don't remember exactly what they said, but I remember they said something along the lines of like it being scary or like something. And <coughs> then we were watching a video at lunch that day of like on the, uh, on the Project 863 channel, which was Matthias Vlogs at the time. Uh, and I was t I was sitting with Chanel and I was like, Chanel, is this real? Like, what is, <laughs> what's going on here? Is there a stalker, like, actually here <laughs> at the studio? Oh. And Chanel was kind of just being, like, uh, like, very vague and, like, ominous about it. And she was just like, well, I mean, like, yeah, it's real. But, like, <laughs> I was like, where did I just get hired? What is happening here? Am I in danger? <laughs> like what is going on and then you know like pretty soon after is when i started like understanding more of like the series um and i absolutely love the content that we create and i'm honestly like really surprised that i didn't know about it before i worked there because i've talked about this a lot but like i'm i was a huge youtube fangirl when i was growing up and so like uh i'm so blessed to have been hired here because I love what we're doing with the series I love you know like I always have been really into narrative content and um just like the the turn that this series have t has taken is just something that I'm really passionate about so I'm so happy to be a part of it and to be able to like you know be on the journey and actually influence the things that happen in the story because that's always really been a big thing of mine as well is just like having um the, the reason why I wanted to get into like film and series like narrative series in the first place was because when I was growing up like reading books and watching tv series and it would end like not how I wanted it to end I was so angry and so I wanted to get into it so that I could actually have a say in how how the things turned out and like you know have it end the way I wanted it to end. Oh. So, so kind of like I am now. <laughs> I so kind of like, kind of like every Lost or Game of Thrones fan. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, Game <laughs> of Thrones is the perfect <laughs> example of that. I can't tell you how angry I was at the end of that. Day. So uh, it's funny you say that you you had watched a lot of YouTube. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTube as well. Um, uh huh. So I just checked the account that we use when we stream has watched 15 hours and 56 minutes of YouTube in the last seven days. In the last seven days? Wow. wow. That's crazy. I've seen that number get up to like 25 before. I didn't oh even, my gosh. Wow. I didn't even know what YouTube was basically until I met Jordan. And it's just consumed our life. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I oh, That's I the love... story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I guess I... it, it kind of is your life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's the best part. <laughs> right. So then uh I guess one last question that I have and then we'll move forward to doing some tier lists. Um what Ooh. are some hobbies or interests that uh people may not know you ha guys have? Oh, interesting. Oh gosh. <laughs> Uh, well, I think, see, the only one I can think of, and I think people do know this about me because I have mentioned it quite a few times on Dope or Nope, um, is I play tennis, uh, and I teach tennis. Okay. Um, Ooh. and still try and do, comp I mean, obviously COVID stopped it, but, uh, still try and do competitive play as much as I can, just because I clocked, like, 12 13 years into that sport and i am absolutely not about to let it just <laughs> right go away right now no i love that i think uh, i've tried to play tennis once and almost knocked a window out of a school so. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> um yeah to be honest i think everybody knows about my hobbies like when i think about it because my other my hobby is just like playing games and like <laughs> stream so uh yeah i'm like i don't really have any other interest <laughs> I, I was um, actually kind of shocked when you said you play D D. oh yeah i do okay that's yeah that's something <laughs> i do i play D D, and i really really enjoy playing D D, and um I would love to do like a D and D stream, but I'd have to like find a group of people who would want to do that. But um, hi Bailey, 
yeah, yeah sure. hi i'm in <laughs> <laughs> um yeah only promise that like i definitely can't dm i have no idea where to even begin with that but um hey chanel you have creative writing uh creative <laughs> writing ability yeah, true. <laughs> my god my fiance says the same thing but anytime i think about like dming i my chest gets tight and i'm just yeah. like <laughs> really uh, i guess that's true yeah chanel um chanel is a little shy but you would be a great dm chanel. I, <laughs> i'm sure you would make it like super um that's sweet <laughs> so i kind of have the opposite problem i can't I can't write my way out of a paper out of a paper bag, but I, uh, I, I mean, I do corporate training for a profession, so I'm used to just reading oh. off material that I'm given. So, oh, so you guys could join forces? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> if you could write it, I could potentially present it. Yeah, that's a. We will discuss this. <laughs> that sounds fun. But either way, as a player or as a DM, if if you know someone else is writing the content for me, definitely look into into that. You've Ooh, been a dungeon master hard. four times. Looks like Artemis is volunteering. Ooh. Wow. Oh, wow! There we go. There we go. <laughs> so I like wait, to be an elf. I've I've been an elf twice, and I, I love feel being like, like that's... a little tree elf. <laughs> Cute. I feel like I, I'm always like a high elf, and I feel like that's very indicative of my character like i mean like like in real life because i'm like of course i have to be like <laughs> uh artemis wants to play well uh, i mean we got uh, a pretty we get a pretty big community i'm sure we could find someone who's uh willing to dm yeah there okay, we go well, sorox we'll is in to, too we'll have to discuss this okay. oh. Oh. i think i think we're gonna wow. get i think all you had to do is mention it and you got a crew Literally, yeah, everybody's you jumping in now, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to talk about this in Discord after stream. Yes, we will. Excellent. Yeah. All right, so um, let's move on then to some tier lists. So apologies for the stream. The images are a little bit, uh, little bit small um, in there, but we are going to kind of discuss them as we go. Um, for those of us in the Discord call, I'm just going to up the stream so you guys can see thanks for following and welcome to the story and this one all right so you should be able to see my folder yep or at least uh, I can. so i'm gonna drag this over here <clears throat> <laughs> start from the left and work our way right so i'm gonna it's open Roxa this said if bald matt doesn't get s tier i'll riot so we've got uh, oh, this man. lovely we've got this lovely uh -huh. dapper gentleman here with the uh, <laughs> the lovely windswept hair and the beautiful uh, overcoat and sweater combo. Uh, this is backwards Matthias. That uh, is quite a dapper man. It really is. Look at the popped collar. Right. <laughs> that that collar says I mean business, but also you know it's cold outside. <laughs> Okay, so are we gonna try to come to a collective? Yeah, or are so, we doing this on our own? Yeah, that sounds fair. So we'll we'll work together on this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so No you go. We, well, I cause we could we could always just like yeah, let's go one by one and we'll place it and then we can always move things around. So, yeah. Yeah, so we could what what I figured we would do is we would kind of all have our own placements for it and then we would just average it out. Okay, that works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Um, so do I need to write this down. Or I'm a, I, I can move. I can move them. So, um, knowing knowing what other haircuts I have on here, um, and, and kind of being a little biased, I think I put this one around A or B because it's one of the better haircuts in my opinion. Yeah, I would agree. It's kind. I would say. I would say A for me, okay. just because I think it. It kind of. It's not the same as what he has now, obviously, but I think that little... haircut in general fits him very well. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I was going to go with a B. Yeah, so... I'll, go, I'll go B as I think well. it's too long. Just a, just a little bit too long on the sides. So then I think our average is right around B then. So we'll put backwards yeah. Matthias at B. <laughs> okay. hey, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh next one is this one is right here 
So this is some blonde Matthias. Okay, okay. okay. I have a very unpopular opinion. I actually didn't mind it. <laughs> and I, think... I know that he felt a lot like it was very much in like a creativity kind of mode for him. Right. Um so, you know, I in my personal opinion, I'd probably put it at a B. Yeah, you know, I would also I think that yeah, it's like fun. Yeah, quirky. I like it I like it better than B than the one we put into the B slot. <laughs> my yeah. only but I don't think it's my only qualm is the bleach looks like it may have damaged his hair a little bit. Uh-huh. <laughs> and as someone yeah. who frequently bleaches their hair, I feel bad for him. Like, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would give it maybe... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like the color, though. I feel like this is also a B for me. Yeah, so I, I think I would have placed it around A, but I think that was three Bs and an A. Uh, so, yeah, because I like the blonde in it. It actually isn't a bad look on Matt. Um, especially where his eyes are blue, it kind of pops the yeah. eyes a little bit. Yeah, like, I agree. Hair the haircut works too with it yeah the, best. the haircut kind of mixed with that kind of works well it's not too much blonde so that it's jarring but it's just yeah. enough that it's like oh hey that's cool yeah yeah i agree and zoom the image in so you guys can see it a little better uh so we're talking about this one so i think yeah b average works out here cool. uh next one is the instance of bald matt that i have here <laughs> uh, so that soroxa doesn't riot <laughs> as, um, as i genu i think hmm. so i give it an a and the reason why oh. is i also not to the same degree but i also cut my hair during the summer when it's hot mm -hmm. um and i think it was just so bold and jarring to a lot yeah. of people Yes. But it was very much for his own comfort and oh, very yeah. much for, like, just for fun. That anytime a haircut is done for fun, I'm automatically behind it. And yeah. maybe that's yeah. my own bias because I would do that to my own mother all the time. But <laughs> You're going to make me seem like a bad person now. <laughs> so No, no. No, it's your opinions. It's all good. Yeah. So I, gonna... I definitely... No, you go ahead. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that I met Matt with this haircut. This is a known fact. And so I thought that this is what Matt looked like all the time. Um, Fair enough. And yeah. after getting to know Matt more, uh, I don't think that this fits his personality. Not I at think all. that he is like a very, like, like we were talking about before, he's a very creative person. So like, you know, I love like the colors and like, just like doing fun things. And like, this just yeah. doesn't fit that in my opinion so i'm gonna honestly oh gosh i'm i feel so bad i'm sorry matt i'm gonna i'm gonna rank this an f <laughs> Ooh, bailey with the <laughs> oh. i was thinking the same I... thing Ooh, double f's we'll we'll get I to do that not like this whatsoever <laughs> um i understand it and like i understand that it gets hot and like i've even thought about doing it to myself and like shaving my head but like I don't, I don't know. I don't think it suits him. So, uh, Soroxa does bring up a good point. Bald Matt is overkill Matt. Mm. This is true. And that, that overkill voice uh, and that whole overkill persona hits in a good way. This is true. So, But he's not... But we're ranking haircuts. We're not true. ranking... Personas, yeah, or time yeah. frames. So you, you, you say you place that around an F. Um, yeah. So here's the thing. I think it, in some cases, so like Matt is generally like his, his ears pop. And I, I'm trying to say that in the <laughs> kindest way. The lack of hair makes the ears pop a little bit more in my case. And it also uh -huh. ages him quite a bit. Like he looks so probably well. about five years older here than he does even just that now. Is true. He does look older with his hair right? So, I mean, to a degree that that could be a thing that he was going for. But I think... Based on what you said, it was mostly a comfort thing, and I yeah. and I and I respect that, and and comfort is definitely important in that case. So I wouldn't quite place it in F tier. I'd probably put it in about C tier. Um, so okay. I think, okay. 
I think that'll average it right about C tier because we had one S, two Fs, and a C. I'm just thinking, like, in the fu for future, for the rest of the haircuts, I'm like, I think I mean, that this one might be my least favorite. <laughs> so, well, well, I mean, we, we can we can, it, we can always reconvene after we see the other things. <laughs> this is true. This is true. so we'll go from uh, one extreme. Tripping. We're gonna go from one extreme to the other. I think so. Uh, Let's take a look at spiky-haired Matt. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, this man. picture. <laughs> I feel like this has to be an A. There's just no, like, discussion. Yeah, I that's that. Yep. I wish I knew the story behind this photo, because <laughs> there's a lot going on here. Like, he's clearly in a bathroom, but why is there a boom mic? That is a good question. They must have been filming like a skit or something. And the, just the way his face is like pointing down, it, like it's eerie. I know Emiko was was messing around with one of these in Photoshop, and I'm like, is is Emiko photoshopping in this one? But I see the little bit of the person over here. Oh my so. gosh. Um. Hmm. It's it's a look. <laughs> I don't. It's, it's for sure a look. <laughs> I don't know I'm that not... I, I don't know that I can oh, see Matt doing this nowadays. No. Yeah, I think yeah. I think that's where I'm I'm getting <laughs> stuck at. So I mean, I'd probably put it at because it's probably not meant to be taken seriously. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd probably put it at like a C. Right. I'd put it at a D if we were going seriously, an what? S if we weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, it makes me laugh, and if that was the goal, then it's an S tier, but, like, to go out in public and be like, yeah, I'm the father of two people and a successful CEO, eh, <laughs> I'd probably place it around an F tier as well. Wow. Okay, I totally just got overridden. I gave it an A. <laughs> so what's that, an S, or no, sorry, I went F, uh, Angel, you said F, or D? I said D. Okay. I'd say then... it's probably ever just to be like a D, then. Yeah, so. so we'll we'll toss that in D tier. Thanks for following. <laughs> Welcome to the story. I feel like it can only oh. get better from here, right? <laughs> Nate, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Nate DSZ, thank you very much for the raid. Hey, thank Ooh. you. Ow, ow. Raid. <laughs> ow, ow. <laughs> we're Some in the uh, raid. We're in the process of ranking Matthias's haircuts. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so let's go back to some uh, blonde Matthias. So uh, this one is very similar to the previous blonde Matthias, but the blonde is faded a little less. Okay. This is oh, okay. what I'd like to call frosted tips Matthias, almost. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that face. Uh, that's Team Edge Matt in his yeah. whole glory. Yeah. <laughs> So interesting. It. I've never seen Matt in a Team Edge video. I'll have to I'll have to go back and watch some of those. Um There was a time when people would riot if he was not in a Team Edge video. Really? Oh, wow. oh you mean like when people riot when he's not in a We Are Eight Six Three video? Yeah. <laughs> probably yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would give this a I think I'm leaning towards I'm leaning towards a C on this one. I like it when it's like faded a little bit. Right. More, I think, I think the, the blonde for this one, or in my opinion, for this one is a little too jarring. I prefer it in the previous one where it was a little bit more muted. I think this is too, too overkill. Not overkill in the <laughs> sense of like really over. <gasps> too too over the top. There's no yeah. such thing as too overkill. I think this would be a C for me. Um, I think. I agree with you guys. The faded looks a little bit better, so I think I put the other one at an A, so I'll probably throw this one at a B. All right. So we, okay. we more or less consensus C, other than Chanel being a little bit more uh, friendly on the blonde than us. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> and, um, let's see. Let's. Soroxa said this is 90s boy band blonde tips. There it really <laughs> is. He's doing his Lance Bass impression. <laughs> uh so then let's go away from blonde matthias and let's take a look at purple haired matthias we should do woods next oh we should have done woods's haircuts <laughs> oh. 
So what okay. do we what do we think I of this really one? I really like this one. I was gonna say I've been waiting for this because I saw it on the bottom and I give this an S. I like it a lot. <laughs> I think the co the color is so fun. I want Matt to do more color. Yeah, I, and yeah. I like the style too. I'm gonna give this one an A. That's so an S and I A. Think, I think I would have liked it a little more if the color popped just a just, slight amount yeah. more. Um, obviously not like crazy or anything like that. Like not like a Markiplier or anything. Yeah. Like that, but maybe just <laughs> yeah. a little bit more. So I'll give it a B. So I think I think it's an A for me, but it would have tipped it to an S if it was a richer purple. So yeah. like mm -hmm. if Matt's if Matt's hair was the same color that Sam's hair is. Yeah. Then that would have been S for me. But I'm also a little biased because purple is my favorite color. <laughs> um, so I think I would place it in an A, but like just on the uh, the cusp of being a an S. Purple on Matt is weird. It's no overkill green. So, so I'm gonna say green. I'm gonna say that's our first in the A territory. Wow. Well, okay. So we're finally starting to get to the upper half oh. of this now. Um, yeah. It's funny that we made this kind of little pyramid look going. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. So then I said that one is an S for her. Yeah. Hey, Amanda <laughs> did it, and they only bleached it once. That's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, I'd say. Uh, so then let's take a look at faded purple. If I can find that, one. it is. So this is the purple, but it's a little faded. Is this one of those? Uh, punk edits from like I, 2013. I assume so. <laughs> no, but I love it. This is concerning. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm you know what? <laughs> you know what? I never like, considered the fact that there were tattoos on this when I grabbed that. <laughs> so <laughs> whenever I remember, like this was a big thing back in like 2014. Like they would do like punk edits in real life, and then like they like YouTubers would get like fake tattoos and put them on, and because yeah, this was this was definitely a thing. Um, so. I'm curious. And Matt looks if like he belongs in like all time low or something. Yeah. Like, he does. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this. This is an S tier for me. <laughs> yeah, I have love, to agree. I love. I yeah. think. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you guys off. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Um, I was gonna say that's probably about the tone of color that I wanted when I was talking yeah. about the other one. So I will put that at an S as well. Yeah, I agree. Honestly, I think like the way he styled it in this picture too, like really yeah. did it justice. Like the other one, it looked like he like you know didn't really style it, and with it styled, yeah, I give it an S. I am very very concerned with the fact that I was so tunnel visioned on the hair that I did not notice the tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because when I saw the small uh the small version of it down below, I was like, what is this gonna be? <laughs> Why does he have tattoos? I actually right. really like it. I mean. I love tattoos, but yeah, that's a. Uh, I think that's I think an S. For, cool. I think that's an S for me as well. I like the purple a little bit better and the way that it's styled here. Um, yeah. Kind of almost looks like a, a photo we'll see a little bit later where he has kind of the shaved down sides. Ooh, ooh, um, interesting. So I think that's an S tier here as well. So I think that's our wow. first one we've been unanimous on as well. <laughs> that is so yeah. funny. The punk gonna... edit got us too. <laughs> right? We're going to have to petition Matt to dress up like this for Halloween. Oh, <laughs> uh, so let's go to a regular, uh, a, a brown haired color, Matthias. Let's do this uh, nice poofy one oh. with, the, uh, with the green background. <laughs> oh. So. Pom <laughs> pompadour Matt, I like to call this one. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say the Pompadour. I, I actually. I actually don't mind it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I actually think that the way that it's styled when he used to do this style was very good because it was curled back. It didn't really like get messed up too often, except if he was doing like a physical shoot. Um, so I'd say I'm going to give my B answer again for the fifth time. Hey, <laughs> it works. It works. <laughs> So, uh, for me, I, this is, I guess because I've been watching a lot more of the old videos lately, this is the mat that I'm conditioned to right now. So, I'm kind of used to this hairstyle, but I think the, the pompadour in the front is still a little jarring for me. Mm -hmm. um, it's not mm -hmm. quite what I would call quintessential Matthias haircut, 
this was like I'm still figuring it out, Matthias. So I would I'm also put it out, Matthias. Yeah. I would put this in a B tier. Okay. I would put that as ooh, a C at least. I'm gonna okay. agree with Angel on this one. I give it a C. Uh, something about it It's just a um, little too too poofy, too yeah. a little much. I All right, think. so we get two Bs and two Cs. That's both right in the middle. Uh, someone in chat, um, ch I guess chat. Let's see what you're voting on. I see C, C. Um, yeah, I think chat agrees that it's a C then. So then we'll put this in C Fair. tier. C. Uh, oh, Brandon said B. I see. Th at least two C's. I think one of those from Artemis was also the C on this one. So we'll say this is a C tier. Yeah. Yeah, they're still coming in with a C. All right. Um. Oh. What? No, I thought it was my fan picking up. Oh. I'm just pushing it. Okay. Uh, let's look at another Team Edge Matt one here. Uh, this is Spiky Poofy Hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Okay. So there this he is, is this is the unruly his glory. <laughs> <laughs> this is tall. His hair's tall. Right? It's very tall. Um I'm gonna let's see. <laughs> oh, the face he's making. Um <laughs> I'm gonna give this one a I'm gonna give this one a Gosh, I'm gonna give this one a C as well. I feel like I've given all a lot of them a C, but it's <laughs> okay. Yeah. So a C, <laughs> just a little too uh, tall for me. I think it's a little unruly. I like, yeah, I, I was just gonna say I think I'll agree with Bailey on the unruly part and you know, do this, a C as well. This might be like the unstyled pompadour. <laughs> I think so. It looks like you just woke up. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's not the styled pompadour. Yeah, yeah. he just rolled out of bed. And... I mean, to be fair, for if that was like just rolled out of bed, that's pretty good. Uh, True. So what confuses me about this one is the fact that Matthias both looks older and younger in this photo. <laughs> like, it throws me off. But I think I agree. This one, it's a little too disheveled for me. Um, mm -hmm. I think... Where did I place the actual styled pompadour? As a B, I think I did. So I'd probably place uh, this one a C. C. That's a D for me. So we have Ooh. three C's and a D. Wow. I feel so harsh. Angel's ruthless. <laughs> no, you know what? We have to. We haven't put any in the F category. We're definitely going to have to move some things around because we have to have at least one in the F category. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll reconvene once we have the preliminary listings. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, so let's look at uh, shaved sides, Matthias. And there's two of them here. They're kind of the same photo. I uh, couldn't figure out how to remove one. So uh, there's varying degrees of length, I guess, a little bit. But uh, <laughs> shaved Matthias with oh, uh, the white shirt. I don't think I've ever seen this one. He's kind of got a little bit of the pompadour thing going on there, but it's it's more tamed and a little bit smaller. Yeah, and with the yeah. beard, it looks all nice. This is an S tier for me. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I would I agree. I really like this one. I feel like he this looks, suits him so well. It does. Yeah. He looks, he looks very clean and yeah. professional. Uh, this is, yeah, I, think I would this, agree. This is pretty close to current Matthias as well, I think. I think this I is... Say, yeah. yes. Yes. I think it this is, is the style close. he aims for now. Especially yeah. with the beard, too. Like the yeah, it just makes yeah. everything look so neat and tidy. Yeah, yeah I and would say S. Yes, this is the Matthias that I'm used to. Yeah. 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 There's... I think that's another oh. thing about this, too, is that, like, so many of these, I don't, I, like, some of these, in my brain doesn't even register as Matt. <laughs> right? So, like, <laughs> so, yeah, the ones that I'm familiar with, I'm like, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Everybody um, in chat is voting S. S2 yeah, okay. As well. let's, yeah. let's go S for this one. Yeah, S is where I'm going to put that. And I just want to check this one to see how different this one is. Uh, it's a little different in that this one is kind of side swept, but not enough. His beard yeah. is definitely bigger. Are we taking yeah. the beard into account with these? Um, sure. <laughs> we, I mean, that beard is hair. <laughs> Okay, um, let me cool. let me go pop this one into the S because that one's in the S, and we'll look at uh, yeah. this one here. I'm gonna give this one an A because although it is very similar, I think I like the beard to be a little shorter. 
So yeah. I like the way he had the beard yeah. trimmed and everything. So this and even is though it's a, even though it's a little hard to see, the sides are a little bit longer too. They're not quite Grown as shaved out. down. Yeah. Yeah, I'll like, agree with Bailey on that one. I'll say an A. Yeah, I feel like this is between a uh, between haircut, Matt. Yeah, they're saying yeah. Uh, Dad Matt is S tier, <laughs> bearded yeah. Matt is Pog. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna pop this one in A tier because I agree with you guys. Uh, so we have one young Matt and one blonde Matt left to go through. So let's take a look at blonde Matt. It's been a little bit since we looked at a blonde one. <sighs> oh. So uh, this one is blonde Matt with a side part. Oh, wow. Oh, can you make that one a smidge bigger? Yeah. I like that. He looks very much like Joey in that one. True. Yeah. That's, that's an A for me. He's got a little bit of a widow's peak going on, though. Just because so, I think the sides can be trimmed up, that that's an A for me. So, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I, I don't know how I feel about the whole head being bleached. I think, um, like, I don't know, he's kind of giving me, like, Draco Malfoy's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Not Draco oh. Malfoy, but Draco Malfoy's dad. Good old Lucius. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, because, I, yeah, I don't know, it's, like, villainous for some reason, for that reason. <laughs> Chad so, is saying it's an F. Wow, F. I don't know yeah. if I'd go that far. There's, I'll give it a D, though, because you know what? I have to be a little bit harsher, so I'll give it a D. <laughs> right, we're, we're yeah, all being I, far too generous to Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I'm going to go with a D as well, just because I think this color in particular, when it doesn't have the dark underneath it, very much washes him out. Yeah, yeah um, I agree with that. I agree with and that. I think that it's kind of, this sounds mean, but sometimes it's kind of hard to tell where his hair starts um especially in in some of the videos that yeah when he had this i get um, what you mean it's like very close to his skin color almost yeah <laughs> yeah so i'd say like it improved when he had like the dark underneath it um, right but just just the bleach i i would say a d i don't think it's as bad as an f but i would say yeah yeah, yeah so th the big thing for me is this one really like chanel was saying really accentuates the widow's peak that he's got going on there and uh, I feel like that's something he doesn't want to happen. So uh, I'd say it is also a D for me. Yeah. So let's pop that bad boy into D. And that brings us to the last one here. Uh, the only one with glasses as well. A young I, boy. I like this yeah. one a lot. Me too. I yeah, think he agreed. looks very, looks very kind. I would say that it's it's probably still an A, kind of like the ones that are more closer to what his yeah. haircut is now it's just the difference is, is there's not a very pronounced beard mm -hmm. um but like the hairstyle itself is very similar and i think that he sticks with that one because it suits him very well so yeah. i would say this one's an a for sure I agree. I agree yeah so like this was the hairstyle that he had kind of when i started watching like dope or nope and stuff like that so this was the hairstyle that i got introduced with or at least something similar to it so this is kind of like nostalgic Matt for me, as weird as that is to say. <laughs> um, but it, it's also the one that like, if I was going to say to someone like, hey, what does it look like this guy does for work? It's like, oh yeah, he's probably a, an influencer. Like, yeah, that that's a fair point. That's true. That's yeah, I, I get it. I think that's the glasses too. Yeah. True. Yeah. I'm going to give it a C. Oh. I, I I still feel like the sides need to be brought down more, like shaved down more. It almost looks like he's got like a bump it on the side of his head. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna accentuate that side poof a little bit. Yeah, there's just a little bit too much poof on the sides. Oh, people are saying A, B. A, a is where a, I would B. place it as well. So we've got what? A C, two A's and a B? Yeah. Okay, so what's that bring that to a B? Uh, so yeah, I'd say it's a B. So this is kind of our pre preliminary ranking. Okay. So, so uh, I, I have, have to say, yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Well, so <laughs> I was gonna say maybe we should move, uh, Matt Malfoy down to. <laughs> I mean, we could like, eh? and then and we could definitely move a C down to D. Yeah. Like, oh, I think that. 
Like the bald head should be further down. Uh, I don't know. We were we were kind of we we're kind of split on that one. I think yeah. I think that was the one mm. that it was pretty split, like near the yeah. top and then near the bottom. Yeah. So uh, I, I think... say maybe like the to- the unstyled pompadour could go down. No. This one. So Re- like do- yeah, like the that. Palm. Hmm. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say so. I like I like that one. I like I like the results. <laughs> yeah, I so, think this is a good. If if we've learned anything, uh we really like shaved down sides Matt, and we really like the purple hair. So uh uh-huh. yeah. I guess we yeah, need to uh we need to I would petition even... Matt. Who dyes hair purple. <laughs> Who dyes hair purple and uh Bring back the uh the, the part like he has in this photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with the results of this. I think this makes sense. Yeah, same here. He would look good with curled hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my y'all gosh. Soroxa says y'all losing your minds having the bald mat with beard in the lower half. Oh Soroxa, <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> All right, so I think uh, we're good with this. This is this is, this is where it's staying. Oh, a mullet! <laughs> oh my gosh! Someone needs oh, to get God. that to Emiko so we can Photoshop that because oh, I want to see. He's that. He's already getting started. Emiko's already. <laughs> he's got Photoshop open. <laughs> All right, so I think we're we're good on that one. Yay! Nice. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to the next ranking list we have. And this is um, our, yep. First, um, oh, oh yes, I forgot all about that. <laughs> so because we hit a thousand followers, and um, you know, you guys have been so supportive to us, um, all you viewers, we wanted to give back a little bit. So I have gone and created some hey. keychains. Yeah. So there's this one. <laughs> Oh, you're showing that off on camera. It was throwing me off. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I should probably pull my camera up. So I no, it's all good. I can see it now. Ooh. So there's this one. We have... If I can pull this one up. Oh, the this little tassel one. is so cute. <laughs> That's that so one's cool. A, that one's a little hard to see because the green's blending in with your hand a little bit. Oh. What if I use my paper? <laughs> <laughs> is that better? Yeah, that's better. You can see it a little bit. It's the syntax snakes. Yeah. And then we have this one. Yeah, that that one's my favorite. I think that one turned Ooh. out so clean. So, so I have cute. six of these total and would like to give them away to some of our viewers. Let's open now. up a giveaway. Yeah, we have a giveaway, and I just have to see if I can figure out how to turn this on. Open. Yeah. Giveaway. So it. So there okay. we go. So you just type so in exc. Yep. Yeah, so you yeah. just have to type in exclamation mark entry, and that will enter you into the giveaway. Uh, the timer will keep it open for about ten minutes, and then we will pick a winner. Yeah. It will I... be a random one. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna decide like which one gets sent out, but. So you could get any one of the three. Um, as far I joined, I hope that's okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. We can um, join. Oh, yeah. I you want guys sh- one. <laughs> shoot me a message with which, which ones you guys want, and I'll send you one. Oh. Um, can you see yeah. the? Can you see in the bot just to make sure that it is recording the names? Oh, I have no clue how to do that. If you go in the bot on the right hand side, it should say giveaway, and you should see a list of entries or something like that. Um. It doesn't say anybody. Uh, that's not good. Entry I don't space. Know how this works. Uh, let me try something. Entry. X. We should have tried this before. <laughs> yeah. We thought we had it set up all right. Oh, maybe it's entry. Sorry, guys. Did that do anything? Um, I don't 
think so. I don't see anybody's name anywhere. Hold on. There's a countdown. Um, let me just try this. Allow inch. Did that work? So it could just be exclamation mark entry and should add us in. No. Do you want to come check it out, maybe? Yeah, so let me... We're going to be right back while I figure that out. We'll do the... Uh, I'm sorry. No, it's all good. Uh, so we'll be right back, guys.
All right, sorry about that. We got it figured out now. Yay! Yay! I'm sorry. Yay! <laughs> Anders' mom's getting a workout today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, we made it so that you can only be entered in once, but we'll have a couple more giveaways as well. Yeah. So we're going to do uh, probably about five more giveaways. Yeah. All right. So then. So we're going to. Yes. Yeah, so while we're letting that run in the background, we're going to move on to our next tier list. Yay. Of it's the Doper Nope thumbnail playoff. I haven't I haven't seen any of these yet. I'm so you'll see you'll see I've <laughs> I've recategorized our uh, S tier lists to overkill mega dope dope nope mega nope or underkill. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. That was a mouthful. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's that's where we're going to go with that. So I'm just going to start uh, left to right, top to bottom. Right, top so, to bottom. so we're going to start with this one uh, of Matt holding this yellow pear looking thing. Were you going to stream it in the... Oh, Discord? sorry, I, for I forgot I had stopped doing that. Apologies. <clears throat> I'm trying to just get comfortable for a minute. Take it, water slide, Matt. Oh no, <laughs> I had to put that one in there. I felt like Emiko <laughs> would disown me if I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do we think of? Uh, oh no. With Matthias holding this, uh, what I can only hope is a pear. I don't remember what it was in the context of the video. No yeah, I what this is. I I forgot what this one was, honestly. I forgot what it was supposed to do. I, that was the point of this video, if I remember correctly. Um, but I think okay, so I'm speaking, I guess, from like thumbnail wise as well as like kind of what works maybe like together cinematically. So like I like that the colors mix together really well. Um I think what I would have liked more is maybe a little bit stronger of a reaction, mm -hmm. just specifically because this video was just like, you don't know what these are. Like, you don't, True. like, these are objects that you can't tell what they do. Mm -hmm. So maybe having a bit of a stronger, like, what the heck reaction. Yeah. Um, so, but I would still say that it still does its job. So I'd put it at a dope. Yeah, it I agree. I think that. <laughs> The shock value in the product is kind of enough on its own for me. Right. So I'm going to put it at mega dope because it's just like, what the heck is going on here? I am concerned. I'm going to have to go find, um, go find this video and see what this was because I cannot remember. I uh, can't either. I forget. But Yeah, someone said backwards hat Matt. Right. Although it looks like it was during the bald era, so it does look that. Yeah, way. it does. See, my thought is, would I click on this? Yes, there is this man wearing a hat backwards in this thumbnail. I would definitely click on it. with this orange little balloon yeah. sack. Yeah. So uh, I guess based off of this thumbnail, I would definitely click. So it's definitely on the upper half of it. So I would probably put it as a dope as well. I was going to put it at a nope. I don't three know dopes. if I would click on this. That's three dopes and a nope, so that's a dope. Uh, yeah, a, a backwards hat is is different. Solid dope. Uh, <laughs> different. This, this one I, I just have labeled as angry pointing Tanner. I love this one. <laughs> yeah, this is a great one. Tanner looks so mad. <laughs> right? Oh, I accidentally yeah, closed it. The way his nose, like, it, like, <laughs> he's so mad that his nose takes on a different shape. <laughs> right? This is like, I think I, oh, sorry, go ahead. This is like personal coach Tanner. You're yeah. doing it wrong, keep her cool! <laughs> I think this is a, this is a great thumbnail. I give this a mega dope. I think that's, um, I'm trying to just see, what are the tiers again? <laughs> It's uh, overkill, mega dope, dope, nope, mega nope, or underkill. No, That's overkill. a mega dope. Yeah.
also have to agree. I think it's a mega dope. And I remember when they were trying to film this thumbnail after the video and just Tanner getting increasingly more, like, not angry, obviously, but more emotional with his expressions was a delight to see. So I would give it a mega dope as well. Matt's yeah. face just looks so red. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like, this doesn't even really look like Tanner. See, my thought was that doesn't even hardly look like Matt. I was like, is that oh, Matt? Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of got like tomato face going on, but I, yeah. I, I, I yeah. think I agree. It's definitely a mega dope. I would, I, I would have and probably did click on that video. <laughs> so the next one. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this one, it just labeled it as cursed. <laughs> <laughs> So, I think what I love most about this is just Luna is like falling in the oh. corner, like into the water. She looks like she's in distress and he's <laughs> taking his thumbnail. That was the first thing I thought of when I saw this. Honestly, uh, like, it looks like because of the, sh like, the face that he's making, it looks like Matt doesn't have any teeth. Right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I thought the same thing. So. We, we've definitely we've definitely uh, seen some of the the ways that Emiko's used this image creatively. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So it looks like he's barely got any teeth, um, and then Emiko likes to uh, highlight the chest hair that's showing oh, up on there, oh and the gosh. fact that it looks like he has no arms <laughs> or very little arms. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, it makes his like... blue eyes pop, though. It does. Yeah. Something but, tells like... me that that was Photoshop trickery. I think. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I, we have to give this an, I mean, I feel like under, <laughs> like we have to do underkill. <laughs> well, I'm trying to think because I think as a thumbnail itself, I think it sells the product pretty well. Yeah. Um, I think I would click on it, but I think, I don't know, maybe, maybe the product being a little more in the front might've worked a little better and it might've made it seem a little less awkward, I guess. Um, yeah, so, like oh. no shirt, Matt is kind of and <laughs> different. Like you don't see him like that, so it's almost like yeah. I don't yeah. know. So, it's like where's your black shirt? No, it's true, true. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like just based. I'm sorry, my underkill vote isn't because it's a bad thumbnail. It's just because of <laughs> it's cursed. <laughs> it's a little cursed. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll, I'll go with a nope. I won't be story. that like. I don't think it's that bad i guess but like also like i completely agree it is very cursed so if we're looking at this from a technical standpoint i agree it does sell the product pretty well though i do have some concerns um if you look at the image of the actual slide the image of the actual slide is a little bit grainier than matt is so it makes yes. it look very much like matt is the product and the slide is ancillary <laughs> oh boy <laughs> So it's almost a little vain, but probably unintentionally so. <laughs> um, Soroxa said, you got to find out why this man has no teeth or arms, so you'll <laughs> click it for sure. <laughs> That's very true. Did, did the shark take them? <laughs> yeah, jeez. Uh, I was going to so... give this a mega dope. <laughs> <laughs> I would have put it at a solid nope. So that's a mega nope, or sorry, that's a mega nope and nope. Uh... Or was it two? No, no, you had an underkill, so... Yeah, she had an underkill. Yeah. So I think that would average it right around to a nope. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Oh, uh, sorry, Emiko. <laughs> yeah, people in the chat are saying mega cursed, which I think is <laughs> a better category. That's <laughs> better category. Uh, if oh, I that, thought that slide do to him, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so the next one here I have titled this dog vacuum. Whose dog is this? Oh, I, have, I, I have a feeling that's Mike. Yeah, Michael's dog. Oh, okay. Zeus. He's so cute. I have to give this an overkill just for Zeus. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm too torn. I that was such a fun shoot too, and like that stupid product, the puff and fluff is like <laughs> done to death on YouTube. But like it was funny with him and. It, what does I, it do? What does that product do? It's supposed to dry the dog faster because uh... you insulate. The hot air from the hair dryer, gotcha. but Zeus was such a was such a treat. So I will give it an overkill. Zeus was such a treat. He looks so happy. My <laughs> only my only qualm with this one is uh, 
Matt's shirt is way too big for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks like he's wearing a nightdress. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch that the first time through, so uh, yeah. So do you have to put the dog in there while the dog's wet? It or doesn't like, sound like fun. How, how does this work? I think, yeah. I, I think you have to, like, I think you have to towel dry them like momentarily so they're they're damp not dripping but they're not dripping and then and then you do that which already kind of defeats the purpose right. a little bit mm -hmm. but could you not just hair dryer the dog <laughs> that's a great question i think it's because and the only reason i say this is because i worked with dogs for a couple of years they get some of them get terrified yeah. of yeah. a hair dryer like you will mm -hmm. come with them with it in your hand it's not even on and they'll flip out yeah and but wouldn't they don't. still get afraid of this like that's just hair dryer that they can't escape from <laughs> yeah. right i mean i guess maybe the i guess maybe the pitch was like well they it's not going on them it's just going around them so they're too stupid to figure it out i feel like Isn't i would have given it that bothers them yeah I think it's dependent because some of them don't like the hot air. Right. Oh, true. I think as a product, I probably would have given this a nope, but for the thumbnail, I definitely give it an overkill as well. Yeah. Just I was going to give it a dope. Is. He's so cute. I'd say three overkills and a dope makes an overkill. Yeah. Uh, next one is just titled Fart Candy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Okay, um, I, I love this. Matt's face. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. A uh, tomboy in about little... five minutes. He yeah. looks a little uh, washed like out in this photo. Like his, his he looks pale. For yeah, some yeah, he does. Um, and like the contrast with that, like, but he also has like kind of red cheeks and like yeah. his mouth and the face he's making. He kind of looks like a clown. <laughs> I mean, he does. <laughs> For what it's worth, he does look like he smelled a fart. He yeah. Like yeah. A fart. This um, is a, definitely clickable, I would say. This is a dope for me. Yeah, I would agree with the dope. It's clickable, but it's also not the gr not the greatest. The yeah, yeah. Bailey's right. He looks kind of washed out. Even though the expression, I think, plays a role really well. Also, like it's just packaged candy. Yeah. So yeah, it's true. there's already a little less intrigue there, but it's also not bad. And I think it, I think that video did get quite a few clicks. Mm -hmm. So I'll say dope too. I okay. feel like it yeah. missed an opportunity, even just by having Matt wear a colored shirt. It would have it yeah. would have made something sure. kind of distinguish it from the background. But yeah. um, overall, yeah, I think I would have given it a dope as well. A lot of people are saying that they would give it a nope. Oh. Good bag. Yeah, of I'm, fur. Gonna, I'm no, gonna agree with no, that. I would no. give it a I would give it a nope. So, I think looking at what we have it compared to would be a nope. So that's two dopes and two nopes. And chat seems to say nope, so I think we're putting it nope. Alright, we're no. be so this was I looked through the channel. This is what I could find is the very first almost doper nope video. So wasn't quite called Doper Nope yet, but uh, it was um, like it was, it was like I ten love... apps that like waste your time or something like that. I love his expression. <laughs> this is an overkill for me. This is so <laughs> I love this. <laughs> yeah, uh, this this might be an overkill for me too. This the, the I want face. I, I, you know, for me, I, I I like his expression and I like the idea of what app is that and clicking into it but i don't know there's something about it that's missing for me i don't hmm. know what it is i don't know if it's maybe like it doesn't there's nothing really about it that stands out too much yeah so i mean i still think it's a good thumbnail but i'm not overtly in love with it and i i don't know i feel like it's probably a nope for me okay. so I no way Knowing what we're comparing it against, I actually put this in like the mega nope category. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, the, I would agree. The pixelated background behind this whole app section really throws it off. And that face mm -hmm. in the phone, like that whole phone <laughs> Photoshop thing is kind of cursed. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> I, w I wonder what Sam thinks of that face. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Wait, who is that? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask next. Do we know who that is? No, I, no, I don't. I, at least I don't. Interesting. Who could it be? I don't know. That's a new mystery. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I you guys influenced me. I'm gonna say nope for this one. So yeah, the an, more we look at it, yeah, it's getting worse. A, a nope, a mega. <laughs> that's true. A nope, a mega nope. What else? Uh, what did you say, Chanel and Angel? I'm gonna uh, go, I said a nope. I'm gonna go mega nope. Uh, I'll just still bring it to a nope. I think. Well, chat. What do you guys say? Most of you say nope. Or I've seen a couple dopes, a couple mega nopes. So we'll say it's a nope. Okay. Uh, we're we're still being awfully kind to a lot of these. I feel like. Yeah. Uh, For now. <laughs> that one might be a mega nope. I might tip the scale. On that All one. right. So now we've got glitter bomb. I like this one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do cool. too. With eyes like fire. <laughs> yeah, That's... I think. Oh, go ahead. Good. Oh no, go ahead. I was just gonna say, I think the colors really work on this one a lot. Um, the glitter and just the manic expression yeah. is perfect. So I'll give this one a mega dope. Yeah. Yeah. So Matt looks like he's having the time of his life. Yeah, I think this is a mega dope. I think I would put this in overkill. I Ooh. would. I would give it a mega dope. I think. All right, three mega dopes to an overkill is a mega dope. <laughs> uh, let me just close off some. Photo anymore. <laughs> and now this one I've titled, How Do You Like Mad Apples? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is cool, but I have no idea what's going on. And for that reason, I would say probably, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's intriguing for sure, but... I, yeah, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> With no context, I would assume this is a video on customizing fruit. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, this is a mega nope yeah. for me. Really? I'm not a huge fan of this. Yeah, you know, I actually, I'm going to go off of what Bailey said, because I know what it is, so it's kind of hard to put that aside. But, like, if I yeah. didn't know what this was, I would be a little confused. I think I would maybe make a general assumption, like, are they working with a laser? And mm -hmm. I think that, like, putting his face in the apple is very clever of, of a design. Yeah. Um, but I think for a first-time viewer, I think it's a little bit confusing, just a little bit. So I'll probably do a nope. Yeah, I'm going to say nope as well. What was this product, Chanel? It was a laser. It was a, um, uh, it was like a, a carving laser. So you could, we, they used an apple to carve onto it. Mm -hmm. um, but also like the product itself, if I remember correctly, had some specifications that didn't work very well either. Gotcha. Mm. Can we talk about how big they made Matt's ears in that drawing? <laughs> Poor Matt. So <laughs> <laughs> sad. <laughs> It it's a, it's a feature. It's not a not one that I'm sure he's. Uh... <laughs> I don't think it actually worked on the apple in the end, did it? I don't think so. I. Like, yeah, I don't. I don't think it did. That was before me, but I don't think it did either. I feel like all that extra heat would do is just rot the apple. Mm hmm. Um, I feel like though, like this thumbnail doesn't really like. I guess I could tell from it that the product is the laser, but I'd still think it was a video about customizing fruit based off of this because the apple is so prominent. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I would say it's a mega nope for me. Okay. So is that two nopes, two mega nopes, or three nopes and a mega nope? Uh, I, was I had a nope. I had a nope as well. Yeah, I was the only mega nope. So it's two, two and two. Uh, but I see a lot more people in chat saying a nope, so we're going to put it as nope. Uh, so I think we've alluded to this one a couple times just in chatting, but here is the Matthias starter pack. <laughs> I love this one so yeah, much. That's I love overkill. This one too. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. when I saw this video, I like when I saw that it was in my recommend, I was like, this is such a clever idea for a video. I think it's so good. Yeah, wow. that video was super fun to make too. So I, I'm gonna give it an overkill. I think that was a really dope thumbnail. Yeah, I give it overkill. It was a really good video. I think they should, <laughs> they should, uh, like, did they get everyone with that, or was it just Matt Tanner and uh, I think Michael? Uh, at the time? Woods was there. Um, I, I know they did Woods. I know they did Catherine. I know they did. Mike Badal. They did pretty much the the more prominent creators at the studio. So while we're on the uh, the topic of this one, what would we uh, what would we say are the Bailey and Chanel starter packs? 
Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll uh, narrow it down. Let's say two to four items each. Okay, I'll do Chanel. I'm not okay. gonna do my. <laughs> okay, I'll do Bailey then. Okay, for Chanel, um, I would do some kind of cute plushie. <laughs> I would do, um, like oh gosh, how would you Thanks even? Thanks for following. Um, and welcome to the story. I would say like a. <laughs> I don't know, something related to anime, like <laughs> an anime, like. I guess manga. Like manga. Ch Chanel, do you read manga? I do. Okay. Okay, then I'll do manga. Um, a tennis racket. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, this is a strange starter back. <laughs> um, <laughs> and a. That's like a tennis king starter pack more than anything. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I would say like a I don't know something related to writing. What would that be? Like, a pen. A pen? I was gonna say like a quill. <laughs> that'd be so sick. Oh, I yeah. would carry a quill around with me. <laughs> um. Okay, Bailey. So first of all, she's got to wear a sweater, even when it's a hundred degrees wow. outside. She's uh, always I'm wearing a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta make sure you have the pale pink water bottle. Oh, that oh. matches everything else oh that is God. pale pink at her desk. <laughs> then, I think so. you got, uh, <laughs> then you gotta have called out right now. <laughs> the little like light, uh, light roasting seal yeah. plushie that's okay. always attached to her keys. <laughs> and then I would say last thing would be just really dope like platform punk shoes because she Ooh. pulls those off so well. <laughs> Wow, thanks, Chanel. Oh, you love it. <laughs> All right, so there you, there you go. There's the inside scoop of the uh, show. Um, I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty well unanimous for the thumbnail. We all agree it's an overkill. Yeah. Yes, um. Sure. Should we draw for the keychain now? I yes. see a bunch of people are saying they got to pop out. So. Yeah. So you should be able to close the thing. Close giveaway. And then you should be able to pick then... winner. Pick winner. How am I gonna do this so people know it's fair? It's it's literally it's the bot doing it, so we don't have anything okay. any influence over it whatsoever. Okay. Um HR one, you have won. Ooh. <laughs> Congratulations. Yay. Um if you, are, if you are in our Discord, shoot me a DM with your um preferred mailing address and we can get that out to you. Yeah. I'm just going to write that down so I don't lose the name. Yay, we... congratulations. Congrats. Yes. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll finish this. Actually, no, let's open up another giveaway. Yeah. I'm just going to write this down really quick. AJ. Actually, did it, actually, I guess we can just check afterwards to see if it removed them. Like, if it removed everyone from... Can you tell me the Discord? I just posted it above, but I will post it again. Uh, if you take a look at the link that Tanner's mom sent, you should be able to click it from there. Oh, it does, or I can hit reset. Uh, I'm so reset it. Don't, don't reset yet. So we'll, let's wait a little bit. We'll pick from the same list, and then we'll reset for the next one. Okay. Just so we don't have to... We'll, 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 we'll make them quicker at, at the end here, and we'll probably yeah. do a bunch right near the end. Um, so yeah, don't worry, okay. there's there's still five more chances to win. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to the next thumbnail. Uh, ooh, this one's a, a treat. Uh, this one is just called Matt Ears. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I would say... <laughs> <laughs> I think my uh, genuinely, I think my main problem with this thumbnail is just Amazon being so incredibly large. And I know that Amazon played a big part in the video, mm -hmm. but I think that if we're alluding to 
this <laughs> we're alluding to this product a little bit more i'd probably just leave it as like a dope over maybe like a good thumbnail like you know the dog or the glitter bomb mm. um but i think the little inside joke also for people that know matt is pretty <laughs> funny yeah <laughs> so, like, yeah, I feel... i'd say a dope I feel like that's where I'd put it too, because it's not quite as good as Angry Tanner or Glitter Bomb, but it's about par with the weird bulbous orange thing. Yeah. Yeah. My, I don't know. I I have the same issue with this one as I did with the Apple one, where I'm just like, I don't know what this is. Um, it feels like it's just an ear warmer. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I would say, I would say dope, I guess. I mean, yeah, because it's just, it's not like blowing me away, but it's not bad. I'm just going to put this as underkill. I do not, I do not like this one whatsoever. Why? (laughs) Uh, It, the coloring just seems off and the background and, and everything. (laughs) Wow. Okay. Angel Harsh critics. <laughs> I know. Right. I I usually try to be so nice, but I don't know. There's just something about this one that it's not appealing to me at all. So I think still three dopes and one underkill. Yeah. I would say that still averages out to a dope. Yeah, that's fine. I think we're finding a trend here in that we don't generally like older dope or nope thumbnails. <laughs> <laughs> Um, here is a fan favorite. This one is the Mobo Pro. Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to say this one is not engaging for me at all. I think the inside joke of it being the Mobo Pro really is like one of the only thing that sells it. But right. other than that, it just looks like any kind of bike that you would see people riding down the beach on there yeah. doesn't really seem to be any you know sets or anything that are making it stand out so i would say that's probably a mega nope in my opinion i agree this might even be underkill like so from my perspective the thumbnail for this could have literally just said mobo pro and people probably would have clicked it at that point oh absolutely like maybe absolutely. not Maybe not when the video came out, but like now they could just replace the, the thumbnail with the words, the one with the Mobo Pro in it, and people would click. Yeah, agreed. So I, I think I actually agree with Bailey. I think I'd put this one as an underkill for me. Because, like, other than the fact that, like, yeah, it's the Mobo Pro, there's really nothing going on in this one. Good episode, yeah. bad. Yeah. I'm going to have to watch this episode. I have no idea what the Mobo Pro is. So it's just oh, literally it's... the way that Matt says Mobo Pro the whole way there. He's like, it's the Mobo Pro. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's a little skit with Connor about them just like going back and forth. And it is really funny. It's a real good episode. I recommend it. It's like definitely in my top 20 Dope or Nope episodes. But thumbnail doesn't do it justice. Yeah, yeah I, was, I agree. I was going to say Mega Nope. Uh, so that's what, two wonder kills and a mega nope. What did you say, Chanel? A uh, mega nope. Uh, I see under kills and chats of mega nope. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm going to say under kill because I think that's where everyone seems to be going. I think that's the average. Yeah. All right. This one is just titled No Hands. <laughs> no Hands. <laughs> <laughs> um... You know, I I think that this is another one that isn't overtly, like, amazing. Like, it's Mm not awesome, but I do think that it gets the point across pretty well. I think the Burger King logo really helps um, sell it. Yeah, You know what it is, what it does. Yeah, exactly. And I think just kind of, like, (laughs) the expression is really funny so i'd probably give this one uh a dope i'd say so i have a really important question is that actually a burger in there or was it photoshopped in i can't tell no i'm pretty sure it was an actual burger Ooh, that's a very good looking burger that's what i was gonna say it's a very impressive burger it's, it's not a like burger king it's burger is it, <laughs> it i don't it, think it. it's a burger er, is it i don't remember i don't it might be because it has the seated bun True. Although it might have been a Red Robin burger, honestly. Interesting. But yeah, and I've noticed again, like, 
we, it, there seems to have been a point where Matt really liked like this uh, purpley colored gradient background. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. This one has it. The weird bulbous thing has it. The glitter bomb has it. The starter packs have it. Um, this one for me, um, I remember this video and I remember the absurdity of this product. Um, and it probably would have, like, again, I'm kind of in the demographic of they could literally put anything out and I really disregard the thumbnails and just click on it because it's dope or nope. But <laughs> I feel like without context, I probably would have clicked on it just to be like, okay, what is this? I need to know. And this looks absurd. Uh, Matthias mm -hmm. also looks really happy to be getting that burger. <laughs> Um, I'd probably say this lands as a dope for me. I see um, dope as well. I'm gonna say... A mega nope. Oh, wow. Um, so that was I feel like the background doesn't fit. It just more looks like he's photoshopped over top of it. Okay. I mean, I think it was probably a green screen. Probably part of why we... Yeah. It's just uh, not my favorite. Yep. Um, so that was what? Two dopes, a mega nope, and I sorry, what did you say, Chanel? Uh I said a dope. Okay, so three dopes and a mega mega nope, I would say is a dope. Mm -hmm. Uh this one is a more recent dope or nope video where they chose individual colors and had to buy products specifically of those colors. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I really like this thumbnail. When Tanner made it, I thought it was really good, so um, I'm gonna give this an overkill. I also, also yeah. wanted to give it an overkill. Yeah, Shout out I'm to Tanner give it having an overkill the... too. Shout out to Tanner having the same headphones as Angel. <gasps> Cute. <That's> right. <laughs> I, I was so excited things. when he bought them. They're so cute. I'm like, we're matching. <laughs> we're tan man twinning. <laughs> Giddy commander. <laughs> I think there's such a diversity of expressions in this as well, because you have Matt that looks like, uh, and then you have uh -huh. Liz that just looks like a child on Christmas, and then yeah. you have so, Tanner that's just like, this is my thumbnail face. Was this, <laughs> was, <laughs> was this the one as well where Woods revealed that he had a dope or nope wish list? I believe uh, yes, so, I, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember this episode pretty good. Um, I, I mean, I feel like Woods made out the best in here. Yeah, I think so too. Um, but I agree, this one's overkill for me. This one has a lot going on. It's really interesting, and it kind of tells you exactly what the video is about. Yeah, I, and I like yeah. that all three of them are included in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, because that an overkill. Yeah, that was that was a trend too. I was trying to find thumbnails that had other people other than just Matt in them because I mean, most of them are Matt. Yeah, yeah, I like that one a lot. Overkill yeah. it is. Uh, as I say that, of course, we go back to another one that is just Matt. <laughs> uh, same oh color. Gosh, oh, wow. <laughs> that is going to be probably a mega nope for me. I think part of I... it is because of the hair. <laughs> it looks like he's bald again. <laughs> I, and I don't... Um, That's an underkill for me. Me yeah. too. I have no idea what um, the video yeah. would be about. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, I, that's the thing too. I found the video for this one to get the thumbnail, and I couldn't even tell you what it was. So, yeah, I'm gonna say underkill because it does not make me want to click on the video. Or if it, like, if I was clicking on it, I'd be like, okay, this is, I don't know, some wannabe Eminem. <laughs> some wannabe Eminem. Uh, all right. So this one, again, I think it's gonna have the same Amazon problem that you had before. But oh no, that is unsettling. Yeah, that's going to be a huge underkill for me. I think the Amazon is too big. I also think uh -huh. that the the product itself is, is fine, but I think Matt's face is what's really not selling it for me because it doesn't really look disgusted. It looks yeah. like he's trying to do like three different things at once. Yeah. And so he's... He's, it, it just doesn't work for me at all. No, I get that. His I feel... face also looks extremely tan compared to his hand. I think yeah, it's because the nice. shirt is so not tanned, though. Yeah. Well, I think um, the shirt, too, was picking up a ton of light when they were taking the thumbnail as well, and they couldn't, like, get that out, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah it's like another no-teeth thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, Matt, Matt needs to smile with teeth more often. <laughs> I mean, I, I know he just had a bunch of dental work done, so I'd imagine he's probably a little self-conscious about it at the moment, but still. 
<laughs> yeah. Better thumbnail, and and I know this predated Tanner being involved with Doper Note, but I feel like a better thumbnail would have just been Tanner wearing the shirt. Wearing it. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's yeah. True. I agree. So yeah, let's uh, let's just say we all unanimously agree this one is an underkill. Yeah. And the last one, and this one doesn't feature Matt. I just called this one Tan Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I remember. God. I remember this <gasps> thumbnail being taken, and it the story behind it is so funny <laughs> because we had to have Robert when he was still the editor for the channel because he was in the video too we right. had to have him pushing tanner on the boat like <laughs> three or four times to make it look like he was moving a little bit oh my god and it just it kept it just <laughs> kept being like michael was just like eh, no that doesn't look good let's like do it again so we have to like bring him back and like so I, but in all technicality i think that it even though it is simple i think there's enough of a story there that I think it pretty much I would just be like, wow, where's he going? <laughs> yeah. Where's he so going? I'd probably I, say that that's a dope. That's a yeah. dope for me. Dope for me as well. His feet um, look huge in this picture. Yeah. I, I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna say this is one of the first photos that I've looked at that's like, wow, Tanner is really a tall gentleman. Yeah. Oh, he's so tall. <laughs> like it's weird because it seems like everyone. So it kind of makes everyone like the average height look different. Like someone might look at Sam and say, "Oh, Sam is quite short," and and in comparison, she is shorter. But like, I feel like Sam is still tall for like above average height. Oh, she yeah. is. Uh, she's definitely yeah. like she's got a few inches on me. Yeah. And I'm so, five five. Because I mean, like even Matt. Matt looks like he's a he's a shorter dude. But like, if you compare the people he's standing around, like Kevin is a giant. Tanner is a yeah. giant. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kevin is a giant. <laughs> yeah. So it's 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 just kind of one of those things of uh, yeah. It's just because they're surrounded with so many tall people, it makes them look average height. Yeah. Uh, even Jay Fred when he's around, like, I mean, he's the nickname Giraffe for a reason, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But I agree with you guys as well. Uh, I would put this one as a dope. So this is our pre preliminary ranking. So nothing is Mega Nope. Wow. I think we should move, move the. Oh, uh, you the... closed it, Jordan. Yeah, I cut the stream. The streaming. Oh, okay. Oh, were you following along with that so you could see it from there? I'll put it back up. Yeah, so it was bigger. Uh, I only go. have one screen. The app one that's a nope. I think we could move to Mega Nope. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. And same with the Apple one, honestly. I was thinking that for the fart candy. <laughs> I think yeah, fart candy. Switch the fart candy and the apple because I think the apple, even though it's not as strong, I think it's a it's, little more engaging than yeah, the fart it's well candy. better, hey, like more well done. Hey Kennedy, hope your uh, soccer games are going well today, and thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Also, right. also, you missed to say hi to Chanel as well. <laughs> hi. <laughs> All right. Kennedy. Yeah, so uh, that looks like our our top three picks here are the yeah. uh, are the one with Zeus, the starter packs, and the three colors. So I think that is very accurate. I like that one. Yeah. So there, so there can be just one. Which one is the ultimate winner? Ooh, I think yeah. the color one. The color. Yeah. Is really good. I agree. We were all unanimous on that one. Yeah. It, so I think uh, the ultimate winner is the orange, blue, pink color one. <laughs> is it is it the best thumbnail i don't know but it's the best of the ones i chose right? <laughs> and that's all that matters today <laughs> yeah. yeah all right let's roll into another giveaway that's what i was thinking too now let me see while we're Pick getting the while winner. we're getting the giveaway set up um I was looking oh. at this Hunger Games thing, but I think we're running a little low on time. Uh, just do it again. That Yeah, that did you. Um, yes. Skip okay. over me. I'm not eligible to win. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, you yeah, uh, uh, filled it out and everything. Oh, this? I started to fill it out because I wasn't sure. I haven't filled out the images or anything. I just wasn't sure what to do with it. 
official like, panda new images oh. either. What? Official panda music. Yes. Panda. You've won. Speak up in chat or if you're in our Discord, which I'll put here, um yeah. you can just DM Angel. Um I, I guess we share other ser or sh you share other servers, so Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um yeah, so I was just trying to figure this out cuz I kind of only played around with the pre-generated things in there. Um, I made some kind of arbitrary teams, but I kind of got stopped at this point. I'm like, I don't know who else to put in the other six places or other 12. Oh, yeah, because we don't have enough to fill. And it wouldn't let me shorten it. That's why I was looking at other ones yeah. like the, uh, the Big Brother, because it was less people, but it was also boring. <laughs> Did you do yeah. all of the employees? Let me see. Um, I think I have Kevin, Mike, Bullet. Quinn, Sam, Woods, Tanner, Matthias, uh, you and Chanel. Uh, I put us in there, and then I think... Are we missing anyone? I feel you bad. Could do, um, you could do Alex is an editor. Yeah, I was going to say Alex. Did you get um, Kevin? Yeah, Kevin's in there. You Alex. Could do Lauren. Yeah, Lauren is... Lauren. Uh, Kevin's an assistant. Okay. Um, um, you could do, like... You could do Robert. Or yeah, you could do Robert IDK and you could do Catherine. You didn't do. Hey. Did you put Izzy in there? Uh, Izzy doesn't put... work at the studio anymore. <gasps> yeah, that's why I didn't really? put it in there. We can yeah, still definitely he... include him though. Um, yeah, we can include him. But he he went on and he started his own business. That's oh, awesome good for him. And he's doing really well. Yeah, he's doing. Oh, super well. that's amazing. Um, Izzy, he's and let's do happy. Michael Mantez. Uh, yeah, yeah. Izzy and Michael, uh, who else? What mm. if we pulled, like, Artemis in here, and Soroxa, and Squatting, and Brandon? Well, then let's feed into it. Let's do Artemis and Shades. <laughs> 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 While we have you guys here, do either of you know where to buy Matt's overkill glasses? The sunglasses? Yeah, the round, green lensed ones. Is that something that he sourced specifically oh. for him? Maybe. I want to I... say it was like a. I want to say it was a custom from Warby Parker. Ah. Uh, because we keep seeing those. Oh, it's really? like, oh, we kind of want a pair of them, but. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think so. I oh, like... Mountaineer Mystery. Thank you so much for the bits. Um, so let's do. Uh... You, could do a, you could do Amanda. Someone said Deb, Cyphus, and Wes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well let's let's put uh, Wesley, and we'll that around, and we'll do Syphy. Syphy. <laughs> uh, we just need two more. Um, um, I'm gonna level with you. I'm not gonna bother going through and finding images because I feel like that will take too long. Oh yeah, yeah, that's okay. Oh yeah, no, don't worry. You can go down at the bottom, like you can. Um, oh, don't use images some... at all. Yeah. Yeah. Could we do overkill and underkill as characters? Overkill? Underkill. It's funny because Matt and Tanner are already there as a team. <laughs> Ooh, John Doe. Oh, John Doe would be good. That's a good one. Um... This is so sad. This is making me realize we don't have a lot of characters. <laughs> well... So, the, the prelim preliminary brackets are ben Bailey and Chanel, me and Angel. Oh. Oh. Uh, so, I don't know how this works. Yeah, so Bailey, if you want to explain it, because I don't quite know how it works okay. either. Yeah, so I've done this quite a few times. I think <laughs> it's, like, the funniest thing. Sorry, I haven't done it with employees, like, my coworkers. I just do it with my friends and I, but... <laughs> um, basically what this is, is it is a Hunger Games simulator, so this is going to simulate a game of, like, the Hunger Games, um, and all of it's random, and it just uses all of the employees' names, or, like, you know, the names that you put in, and makes them fight each other, uh, just, like, do, you know, like, random things that the tributes would do in the hunger games like you know just like making a fire um but yeah so 
like people kill each other <laughs> or you can die from like dysentery or starvation Oof. or like there's just like a bunch of random things that can happen but it's like very interesting and oh, fun yeah. to watch. <laughs> so um, so it's completely random the way that it'll play out though so we'll preface this uh me no ill will towards anyone that's in this no. list oh, yes, it is purely not. entertainment purpose um hopefully no one takes offense to this where you know yeah. it's going to be discussing them being potentially murdered by each other um but again this is all in good fun not meant for yeah. ill will by any means no and it was all no. entirely random <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. We so are not we, yeah we are not choosing who dies how so <laughs> We have in District One Bailey and Chanel, in Woo District Two Angel and I, in Woo District Three Matt and Tanner, in District Four Woods and Sam, in District Five Quinn and Bolette, in District Six Mike Badal and Kevin, in District Seven Alex and Lauren, in District Eight Robert IDK and Catherine. In District 9, Izzy and Michael Mantez. In District 10, Shades and Artemis. <laughs> In District 11, Wesley and Syphy. <laughs> and District 12, Overkill and Underkill. <laughs> All right. So I guess I go submit and then it just goes through it. Yes. All right. Let's see what happens. So. Due to the no uh, did it just re uh, I hope that didn't erase all of that. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. Uh, you say, yeah, go forward. Okay. So proceed. Let's see what happens. So, as the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Wesley snatch snatches a pair of sighs. Robert IDK runs away from the cornucopia. Izzy runs away from the cornucopia. Alex grabs a backpack, not realizing it is empty. Matthias, Sam, and Tanner work together to get as many supplies as possible. Lauren takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. <laughs> Shades r repeatedly stabs Bullet to death with sighs. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that is so Over brutal. Overkill snatches a pair of sighs. Bailey stays at the cornucopia for resources. Syphy grabs a sword. Uh, oh. Angel takes a sickle uh -oh. from inside the cornucopia. Kevin kills Woods with his own weapon. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not the bat. <laughs> Woods Woods didn't Woods didn't make it through the first scuffle. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, he barely made it off the podium. In tr so in true uh in true fashion, uh Underkill runs away from the cornucopia. Uh, so do I. Um both <laughs> Michael Badal and Michael Mantez run away from the cornucopia. Chanel severely slices Quinn with a sword. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine runs away from the cornucopia, and Artemis stays at the cornucopia for resources. Oh, um, size. So, Syphus, if you think of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael has size. They're like little three-pointed daggers. Oh my goodness! So let's. Bullet Woods and Quinn. I don't think it actually. <laughs> So I didn't didn't actually say that Quinn had died. It just said he was severely sliced. Uh, what do you think that means? I think. Oh yeah, maybe maybe he's still alive. But he's we'll see. yeah. So let's see what happens next. Sam travels to higher ground. Wesley sets Artemis on fire with a Molotov. <gasps> oh. 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 Oh, apparently I forgot to change Kevin's uh, pronouns. So Kevin sprains <laughs> his ankles while running away from Bailey. Um, oh. <laughs> Lauren overhears Shades and Angel talking in the distance. Michael Mantez injures himself. Tanner, Syphy, Chanel, and Overkill hunt for other tributes. Wow. Matthias, <laughs> Matthias and Michael Badal work together to take down Alex. Um, oh, Jordan no. steals from under. Jordan steals from Underkill when he isn't looking. Um, Rob. Robert and IDK and Izzy work together for the day. Catherine picks flowers. <laughs> nice. Very wholesome. Right? Oh yeah. Um you guys are it looks like drowned. What? We work together to drown Alex. Matthias and Michael but all work together to drown oh, Alex. No. Oh, my oh, apologies. Gosh, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah, that is worse. That's definitely worse. Oof. All right. So, five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. 
for Bolette, Woods, Quinn, Artemis, and Alex. Okay, so Quinn did die. Sad. Oh, no. R.I.P. Mm. So let's see everyone's stat. Actually, see everyone's statuses. So this is what it looks like. So uh, Chanel's got a kill. Matthias has got a kill. Mike Bedal's got a kill. Wes has got a kill. And Shades has got a kill. Oh, cool. Uh, go back to Fallen Tributes. Let's proceed. Falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Ouch. Oh, no. Oh. Underkill tries to treat his infection. Anna receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. What? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Michael Mantez fends Mike Bedal, Catherine, and Jordan away from his fire. Um, Shades cooks his food before, before putting his fire out. Wesley climbs in a tree to rest. Ooh, that's a scary thought. Uh, yeah. Lauren tries to sink herself to sleep. Matthias oh. receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Oh. Oh, Izzy boy. lets Sam into his shelter. Oh, oh poor Bailey good. cries herself to sleep. No! <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> Kevin receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Syphy goes to sleep. And Angel, Robert, IDK, and Chanel sleep in shifts. I'm watching you. <laughs> Bailey strangles Lauren with a rope. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh my! No. Bailey! <laughs> I love Lauren! I would never! Ooh, Wesley runs away from Syphy. Ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Izzy and Matthias hunt for other tributes. Okay. Oh, God. But he manages to escape. Oh. Kevin thinks about home. Oh. Mike, my, Michael Bedal dies from an. Ooh, Michael Mantez throws a knife into Catherine's chest. Oh, oh, oh. No. oh that's terrible. Ooh. Robert IDK forces Tanner to kill Angel or Chanel. He refuses <sighs> to kill, so Robert IDK kills him instead. Oh, oh. No. Lad Robert is. <laughs> he's, oh, he's spared you guys. Um, yeah, Underkill did. receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Sam discovers a river. Awesome. Did Kevin's? Did Kevin change pronouns? No, I accidentally forgot to change his pronouns in the the setting beforehand. That's why I'm correcting them as I read it. Um, do you want to open up another giveaway? Yeah, I can do that. Reset, open another reset. giveaway. Um, we will run it for five minutes this time. Okay, do you want to set an alarm? I, I've made a note of what time it is. Okay. All right. So let's watch the massacres keep going. <laughs> so end of day two. Overkill is dead. Lauren is dead. Catherine is dead. And Tanner is dead. Jeez. Oh, my God. Let's check some statuses. So both Bailey and Chanel have kills now. Um, Matthias, <laughs> Matthias has a kill. Uh, Mike Bedal and Kevin each have a kill. Robert IDK has a kill. Michael Mantas has a kill. Wesley has a kill. And Shades has a kill. Chanel, we're the only team who have both gotten kills. We're the uh, Mike Bedal, true. Mike no, Bedal and no, Kevin District as well. Six. District oh. Six also has one. Oh, okay. We'll take them down next. Yeah, okay. don't worry. <laughs> well, let's see if that happens. <laughs> Proceed. Shades receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Syphy, Kevin, Robert, Matthias, and Mike Bedal sleep in shifts. Bailey lets Michael Mantez into her sh shelter. Underkill convinces Chanel to not kill him, only to kill her instead. Oh, you got killed by oh, Underkill. What? Chanel? Oh. Sorry, My Bailey, teammate. I failed you. Oh, <laughs> I'll avenge you, Chanel. Just Sam. kill him, Bailey. <laughs> Sam goes to sleep. Izzy passes out from exhaustion. Angel receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. I cry Ooh. myself to sleep. And uh, Wes cooks food putting f before putting his fire out. <laughs> Mike Bedal sets off in an explosive, killing Robert IDK. Shades <gasps> runs oh, away no. from Sam. Syphy sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. I discover a river. Bailey collects fruit from a tree. Underkill receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Boo. Thi <laughs> Boo, Underkill. Matthias sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Wesley scares off Kevin. 
<laughs> Angel steals from Izzy while he isn't looking, <laughs> and <Angel. laughs> Michael Mantez explores the arena. Well, so far, our whole team is still intact. Go District 2. Must be I'm nice. I'm so nervous. <laughs> so, two cannonballs or cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Uh, R.I.P. Robert and Chanel. Oh, oh. So, Mike Vidal is the first to get two kills. Ooh. This is kind of, oh, okay. uh... Gotta be right. wary of him now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Bailey, Jordan, and Wesley discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Um, Sam starts a fire. Izzy cooks his food before putting his fire out. Shades tends to underkill's wounds. Syphy Ew. thinks about winning. <laughs> Kevin receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Angel destroys Michael Mantez's supplies while he's sleeping. Um, oh. Matthias begs for Michael Badal to kill him. He refuses, oh. keeping Matthias alive. Oh, my <laughs> God. Michael, Mike Badal is the, the sociopath here. <laughs> yeah, right? Sure. Honestly, well, he didn't, that's the first person he hasn't killed, though. Right? Yeah. Right? He, <laughs> yeah. else, he showed mercy to Matt. Yeah. <laughs> um, day four. Matthias camouflages himself in the bushes. Bailey runs away from Kevin. Angel... Oh, no. Angel begs for Sam to kill her. She refuses, keeping Angel alive. Oh, Sam. Wesley runs away from Izzy. Jordan kills Syphy with a cycle, with a sickle. Oh, he's, he's done it! He's done it! <laughs> Michael Badal makes a slingshot. That's not good. Uh, Michael Mantez shoots an arrow into Shade's head. Ooh. Oh, oh no, that's and, brutal. And in true underkill fashion, underkill falls into a pit and dies. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Vengeance. Vengeance <laughs> in the pit. So <laughs> cannonballs go off for Syphe, Shades, and Underkill. So let's see the statuses. Um so remaining we have Bailey, we have Angel and I, we have Matthias. We have Mike Bedal and Kevin. We have Izzy and Michael Mantez, and we have Wesley. Dang. Let's get into the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. Come on, yes. Bailey. You can do it. <laughs> All right. So Kevin, Mike Bedal, Bailey, and Wesley sleep in shifts. Izzy and Jordan talk about the tributes are still alive. Matthias sees a fire but stays hidden. Sam starts a fire. Michael Mantez throws a knife into Angel's head. Oh. Ooh. Angel, no. <laughs> the really cornucopia the cornucopia is replenished with food supply weapons and memoirs of the tributes families michael mantez decides to not go to the feast wesley decides not to go and izzy decides not to go uh me bailey and mike badal confront each other but grab what they want and slowly or want slowly to avoid conflict Matthias destroys Sam's memoirs out of spite. <laughs> oh. That's so mean. Kevin decides not to go to the feast. That's rude, Matthias. I know, what the heck? Ooh, Sam stalks Wesley. Bailey stalks oh. Michael Mantez. I receive oh. fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Mike Bedal constructs a shack, and Izzy, Matt, and Kevin all hunt for other tributes. <laughs> That is the, not the dream team, but that is the, if I saw them coming, I'd be like, yep, it's, uh, it's my time. All right, let's, uh, time. let's, uh, let's cut off the giveaway and let's, uh, let's just rapid fire pick two winners. Okay, close giveaway. Pick one winner. And who do we have? Was that the one who won the first one? <clears throat> nope. Okay. Um, so, dear, dear, sorry, Dirac. don't know. How to, uh, you've won. Congratulations. Yay. Yeah, make sure that you reach out to Angel on Discord so we can coordinate getting that sent to you. Yeah. All right. And we will pick one more. Pick winner. Tia, Tia underscore Mo. Mo. So let me write that one down. Congratulations on your win. Here. Oh, 
Sean M. O. Yeah, shoot me a message on Discord with your preferred name and mailing address, and we'll get that sent out to you. All right. Hey. All right. Reset. You're very welcome. Reset again. Yeah, so reset. We'll uh, what we'll do is we'll run this one until we are ready to end stream, and then we'll give away yeah. the last two as we're ending the stream. Yeah. All right. So we got that ready to go. Let's go ahead and proceed to night five. Fallen tributes. One a cannon shot is heard for Angel. Aww. Done. So who was left? Bailey, me, Matt, Sam, Mike Bedal, Kevin, Izzy, Michael Mantez, and Wesley. I feel like Sam is the dark horse in this. Like yeah, she, hasn't she hasn't really, really done, done anything. She's just been quietly biding her time. She's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna kill all of us. So myself, Izzy, and uh, Matt all sleep in shifts. Um, <laughs> Michael Mantez attempts to climb a tree but falls to his death. Oh, no. um, Sam begs for Wesley to kill her. He refuses, keeping Sam alive. <laughs> Michael Badal convinces Kevin to not kill him, only to kill him instead. So Kevin so... killed Mike Badal. Okay, gotcha. Oh, no, sorry. Mike Badal killed Kevin. Oh, yes. no. And then Bailey tends to her wounds. Aww. Bailey, don't blow this for us, Bailey. <laughs> I got Wesley oh. discovers a river. Izzy questions his sanity. Um, Sam is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Um, myself and Mike Bedal hunt for other tributes. Bailey begs for Matthias to kill her. He refuses keeping Bailey alive. <laughs> oh. That's very kind of him. Thank you. <laughs> so, that is Michael Mantez and Kevin, who are both deceased. Dun, dun, dun. So, that means Bailey, myself, Matt, Sam, Mike Bedal, Izzy, and Wesley are remaining. Dang. Come on, Bailey, you got this. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting so, so close. Bailey and Izzy hold hands. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Wesley and Sam sleep in shifts. Uh, Mike Bedal treats his infection. I think about winning, and Matthias loses sight of where he is. Uh -oh. oh. That's threatening. Sam so tries to spearfish with a trident. <laughs> Bailey and Izzy work together for the day. Oh, Matthias me and Izzy are good friends now. <laughs> right? Matthias stalks Michael Badal. Um, Wesley <laughs> collects fruit from a tree. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Should eventful day? No cannon quite, shots. Quite the eventful day of questioning sanity. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ooh, Bailey and Jordan run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Okay. Um, Izzy climbs a tree to rest. Uh, Wesley stays awake all night. Sam loses sight of where she is. Uh, Mike Bedal cries himself to sleep, and Matthias oh. tries to sing himself to sleep. Oh my I just gosh. picture, I just picture him there, like hugging himself, going, "I'm going backwards." <laughs> oh, <I'm> so sad. <laughs> Okay. Wesley, Mike Bedal, and Bailey successfully ambush and kill Izzy, Sam, and me. Um, hey! Ma oh. oh no, I joined the dark side. Oh. Matthias receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Uh -oh. I just casually avoided that whole confrontation. <laughs> Matt's like, something's going on over there. I'm just not gonna go over there. <laughs> so... That means three more cannonballs, which means we have Bailey, Matthias, Mike Bedal, and Wesley remaining. Oh, uh, is it going to be? Bailey oh thinks... Be? I, in reality, I would stand no chance. Bailey, <laughs> Bailey thinks about winning. Matthias dies trying to escape the arena. <gasps> oh. we Wesley defeats Michael Bedal in a fight, but spares his life. Oh. No. Michael Bedal... Michael Bedal receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Bailey chases Wesley. Uh, okay. Get him, Bailey. Get him, Bailey. <laughs> I'm, I'm chasing him. ball can be heard for Matthias. So, oh, Matt, no. <laughs> Mike, Mike Bedal is Michael ba Mike Bedal is racking up the body count. Wait, right? is <laughs> oh my gosh. Six kills. That's scary. <laughs> All right, let's see where this goes next. 
Bailey defeats Michael Bedal in a fight, but spares his life. Why would I oh, do that? Why, why would you do, do that, Bailey? That? <laughs> Wesley <laughs> cries himself to sleep. Oh, no. Wesley oh kills God. Michael Bedal with a sickle. <gasps> oh, Bailey accidentally just detonates a landmine no. while trying to arm it. No! Oh. <laughs> Bailey, I you're so, so close. close! That means I the winner can't... is Wesley. <laughs> Oh, from can we district talk about how, mean. Yeah, what does that mean? Can we talk about how accurate that death is to life, though? Like, I would get to the very end and then accidentally detonate a landmine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you oh, dang. Finish second. Yeah. yeah. True. Still not good enough. It's still not good because you die. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> let's I look at... How we included... Mostly employees, and then none of us won. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so I had one kill. Bailey had four. Chanel had one. Matthias had one. Kev Kevin had one. Michael Mantez had one. Underkill had one. Uh, Robert IDK had one. Shades had one. Wesley had five. And wow. Michael Badal had six. <laughs> I love how everyone is so upset that Wes won. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> is that foreshadowing? I don't know. Uh, we don't know. Uh, Let's use this as inspiration, Chanel. Okay, yeah, I'm ready to download. Don't worry, the VOD will be available. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think that's more or less coming around to wrap up time then. Yeah. We know that. <laughs> so. We we'll have some stuff to get to. Absolutely. So I want to turn the floor over to you guys. Where can people find you, uh, follow your work outside of your obvious place of employment? <laughs> Neat. Well, I stream on Twitch and my username is Sunny Bay. <laughs> oh, wow. Tanner's mom shouted me out. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, that's pretty much where I'm the most active. Um, I'm also on instagram but um it's i have a wordy like wordy username i'll put it in the chat because <laughs> it's just my first and last name <laughs> and my last name is complicated oh i feel that um yeah I think... i'd say oh my my twitch is <laughs> peanut butter thanks tanner's mom <laughs> yeah my pitch my twitch is peanut butter nelly um i Twitch a lot with or Twitch. I stream a lot with <laughs> Bailey, um, and just trying to do like other stuff too. Um, yeah, and then just Nelly True, uh, like N E L L Y T R U U on Instagram. That's probably where I'm usually at. But oh, I misspelled yeah. that. How dare you! <laughs> Chanel, that was scary. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, scary. especially considering especially considering that she has a body count according to this now. That's true. I have one kill. <laughs> um so the a thousand follower giveaway, we're gonna be closing that out soon. So if you guys haven't entered into that giveaway, make sure you do that. We're gonna draw the next two here just in a moment. Um also, we just created an Instagram account not too long ago. Um, if you go on Instagram and just search "We Are Subject Four, you will find us there. I think we have like three posts so far, but yeah, yeah you can find us there. We're soon launching a TikTok too to try and compete with the younger generation that I feel <laughs> so disillusioned from. <laughs> also, um, cups are available. Let me see if I can bring this back up again. Um. Obviously, they're not these ones, but um, have some lovely color changing cups. Yeah, with the... a couple different designs. Yeah, we can put the Syntec logo, the subject or subject four on it. We can put the eight six three logo, mm -hmm. and all of those um, come personalized. You can figure out however you want to do those. I feel like there was something else I was going to say about that, but I don't remember. Shoot. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Has everybody entered into the giveaway? Yeah, we'll give it another minute or so here. 
Uh, yeah. While we wait for that to finish, I just want to thank both Bailey and Chanel for taking some time out of their weekend to hang out with us. Definitely. Thank you We're so much for inviting us. That was so yeah. fun. Thanks for having us here and, and inviting us. It was really fun. Oh, we had so much fun with you guys, and we're so thankful. Um, um, Nate oh. D's, Nate D's. I think it's an exclamation mark entry, but you might already be in there. Yeah. I've got Cyphus, I've got Grey John, I've got Nate, I've got Wesley Nathaniel, uh, Bed Ted, Wanda the Ghost, and Mountaineer Mysteries is entered. So right. if you're in the chat and you haven't um, entered, give you another minute to do that. And then as far as our schedule, we'll be back on our regular schedule for this week. So we will be back live Tuesday for the We Are 863 video. Uh, yeah. We'll kind of live review that and uh, we'll go over some memes and theories and maybe watch some of the season one backlog that we need to get through. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so make sure you put an exclamation mark entry without the space because I see mama's trying to do that. And... Oh, if you just put an exclamation mark entry, you can uh, get entered. Yeah. I just want to make it fair, make sure everybody gets in. And then once we're uh, done with getting that set up, I see that Sorox is streaming. Uh, oh! Which, if, if you guys haven't had a chance to check that out, uh, specifically you and Bailey and Chanel, um, he's been recreating a uh, 863-themed uh like amusement park and it's kind of dope it yeah is super dope. I, yeah I it is i love it the other day and he's doing a great job with that yeah plus he All just right. recently hit affiliate numbers which congratulations Ayo. Soraxa. Woo -woo. Yay, Soraxa. <laughs> Woo. all right so i think we are going to pull here so yeah. we're going to do i close it first i don't remember yeah you have to close it first close it all right and we're gonna pick two i'm gonna go boom boom Cyphus 22 and Grey Dawn. Hey. So now I need to double check. Grey Dawn, are you still here? Because I know you had said to um, pick someone else if you were gone. So wait a second just to see if Grey Dawn is here to confirm. Um, if he doesn't confirm in t a minute or so, then we'll repick for the second one. Yeah. 22. Um, we would need an address somewhere that we yeah. can send it. Um, if you don't want to give us your address, which is understandable, um, we could potentially look at sending it to like a UPS outlet or something like that, but I don't know if there's costs associated to that. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Just going to wait one more minute to see if... Is the giveaway international? Uh, because these are relatively light, it shouldn't be an issue yeah. with us sending over overseas. Yeah. It's mostly just like acrylic plastic, I'm pretty sure. Okay, are you sure? Okay, let's spin twice then. Uh, cause... Yep. Okay. Let me see. Winner. So, uh -oh. Wesley Nathaniel... Oh, you win Hunger Games, and now you win this. <laughs> and Mountaineer Mount Mysteries. Uh oh. Okay, spin one more time. Okay. I think there's so only one other. Mountaineer. Yeah, Mountaineer wins, and then we get one more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Didn't even think of that. Uh, Nate DSZ. All right, congratulations. So, um, I'm gonna post the Discord one more time. If you're not already on the Discord, please join that so you can coordinate getting your prizes. Definitely. All right. Thank so, yep, keep going. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out with us today. Um, this would have been possible without all of you. We are so incredibly thankful for you all. Um, thank you for spending your Sunday with us. I know it's not usual stream day, but we're just so thankful for everybody and so happy. All right. So again, I just want to extend a huge thank you to Bailey and Chanel for being our guests of honor. Yay! <laughs> uh, it's been a blast. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to toss a raid over to Soraxa. So uh, make sure... Yay! 
Let's yeah. go send him some love. Let's give Tell him, him that we sent you. And uh, we will catch you guys on Tuesday. Thank you so yeah. much for everything. Have a great Bye. weekend. Bye. Thank you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. And raid is gone. Okay.